I challenged people to make insane art out of food like apples, cheese, coffee, cakes, pumpkins, gingerbread, and so much more. And the best ones win tens of thousands of dollars. But before we get to all that, we're gonna start with a watermelon art challenge. Today, we have five artists. In front of you, you have a ton of tools. Open it up. Bring out the watermelon. Not a watermelon, you get three watermelons. Jake, here's yours. It says sugar daddy at the front. Whoa, some big melons. All right, Izzy, here you go. Whoever has the best watermelon art after four hours wins five grand. <laughs> But not for you, for someone in your family. Oh my god! What? Time starts now. Mackenzie, any thoughts about sculpting with watermelon? I feel like it's gonna be really hard. And do you know who in your family you'd give the money to? I'd probably give it to my mom. I feel like it's gonna be hard. Who are you gonna give your winnings to? I wanna give my winnings to one of my brothers. I'm going to give it to my dad. I will be giving it to my parents. My mom. Lots of parents and brothers. Is anyone gonna start carving yet? All right, we're gonna speed up this process a little bit because nobody's carving yet. So first person to carve a star in their watermelon gets a huge advantage. Go. It needs to be. Here you go. You, you need to dig it out. Whoever finishes first, raise your hand. I'll come check to see. Oh, Jake's. What? Jake, let me see yours. All right, Jake, you win this mini challenge. Jake, you're about to have a huge advantage. Steal someone's watermelon. So someone's only gonna have two watermelons to work with and Jake okay. will have four. Are you gonna grab Mackenzie's melons? I figured. Oh, Everyone yeah. wants my melons. <laughs> if I win, you win $5,000. <laughs> oh, yay! For me? Okay. Uh, that would be so awesome. Okay, thank you, Josh. Mackenzie, I see you have quite a lot carved so far. What are you making? I'm going to be making an eagle. After tons of research, I think the best thing to start with would be a reptilian head. I'm trying to make a watermelon dragon. And if it all fails, I'm going to make a watermelon piggy bank. Going to be a watermelon venom carving. I wanted to do a skull with a bunch of flowers and details. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, guys, we got some stuff carved. Looking good. This is way harder than I expected. My arm's really tired, and I'm just chunking away. Is everyone ready for the second challenge? These are watermelon Sour Patch Kids. So the first person to finish their pack of watermelon Sour Patch Kids gets to scoop out and take two bites out of someone's watermelon. Oh, heck no. One has to be right now. Another one can be anytime later during this challenge. You take a scoop out, you eat it. So they can just eat someone's artwork. Three, two, one, go. Hey guys, how do these taste? Good. The paper gum. Is it how many more do you have? Four. Oh my goodness. Izzy just inhaled all the watermelon Sour Patch Kids. All right, Izzy, go take a scoop out of someone's watermelon right now and eat it. Mackenzie's looking pretty good though. Oh! 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 Mackenzie's eagle has a chunk taken out of it. How are you gonna fix this up? I'll probably have to cut a chunk out of there and stick it back in. Okay, mom, so this is what I have so far. I hope you're proud of it. Even though my dad thought I was crazy trying to carve watermelons, I'm still gonna win this for you, dad. So since we're carving watermelons, I thought it would be a very fitting punishment to be pelted by watermelons. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding, water balloons. So it's water something. So if you lose, you get pelted by water balloons. And if you win, you're gonna be one of the people throwing the water balloons at the losers. <laughs> right, so right now, they're all quietly working. It's looking pretty good. And I think they can take on another challenge. So what's gonna happen is you will have two chances to catch a gummy watermelon in your mouth. If you don't catch it, you have to use nothing but a spoon for 30 minutes. That's it. Mackenzie, are you ready? Oh, all right. Oh, I might've made this too easy. Oh! <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Oh no! Izzy, for the next 30 minutes, you can't use anything except for this spoon. Good luck! Izzy, yes. it's been 30 minutes. You may stop using the spoon. Let's check in a little bit with everyone. Jazz, Mackenzie, you guys are both doing reptiles. How's it going? I feel like at least I'm getting the hang of carving and dimension, so I'm trying my best. I'm feeling pretty good about mine. I haven't gotten a chance to really look at anyone else's to 
kind of see how it ranks. I'm just gonna keep going with it and hope for the best. My dragon is pretty much done. All I have to do is add the body. Doing venom, as you guys know, so I was working on carving out an eye. I think I lost a bit of time using the spoon, unfortunately, but I was able to still like kind of carve out a lot of the white on the other side. I think it's going well. All right, so I think all of you are getting the hang of it, but now I'm gonna play each one of you guys in rock, paper, scissors. If you lose, you have 300 watermelon presses. So this is one watermelon press. It touches your chest, you lock your arms out. One, two, three, you get the point. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, Jazz, you have 300 watermelon presses. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You are safe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Jake, you also have 300 watermelon presses. And in fact, Jake, let's get you the biggest watermelon. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Izzy, you're safe. Jazz, Jake, grab a watermelon and come with me. More. I still got 50 more. Come on, Jake, more tension, more tension. <laughs> Yay! Are you done, Jess? Yay! 300. Ow! Grab a small chunk of watermelon and go stand with your butts touching the counter. All right, so we're gonna play a little game. Get the watermelon chunk in the garbage can and you don't have to use your fingers to sculpt. All right, Mackenzie, go. Nice. Nice. Oh, you made it. Oh! Oh! Izzy, we have 40 minutes left. For the next 30 minutes, you can only use your bare hands. Good luck. Oh no. Oh, look, Izzy. Oh my gosh, okay. Sorry. I have one hour left. I don't know what I'm gonna do. My brother gave me the idea of doing a shark. So I'm gonna try. So I get to scoop a hole out of someone's watermelons and I really don't know who's to pick. I'm gonna take pictures of them and send them to my mom and I'll have her pick who I should destroy. Izzy, you said your mom responded? Yep, she made her decision. Jake. What? Oh! <laughs> Izzy, do what you gotta do. I feel bad about this. Oh! <laughs> yes. Oh! Izzy, that was a, so brutal how you just ate it afterwards. <laughs> All right, so as you guys know, Izzy can't use any tools right now. So she asked me a very good question. What was it? Can I smash a watermelon? Yeah, you're not using any tools. The only tool you're using is gravity. Three, two, one. You missed! <laughs> Izzy, you missed! One, hands in the air, everyone. Mackenzie, we're gonna start with you. Tell us about your art piece. So I have a cobra and she is guarding her nest of eggs. I like how you added the texture with the scales. I think the rock probably could have had a little bit more of a rock-like texture in general. I think it's a very cool piece. My brother gave me the idea of doing a shark, which was really smart. So I went ahead and added some like fishy food. I mean, considering you scrapped everything and you did this in just one hour, very impressive. So I did a dragon. She has a luscious scale. I added some watermelon balls because I wanted people to eat the watermelon art. I really like how you carved the scales on the dragon. It's actually a really nice touch. There's some nice textures back here. I would say one of your better art pieces. So I was making venom. I lost a bit of time because I had to salvage the eye a little bit. It turned out okay, but I had a lot more in mind. The eye is currently sitting in Izzy's stomach and in another couple hours, it's not. I think you went for a very jack-o'-lantern-like approach. The eye still turned out really nice. Overall, very detailed and very impressive. My intentions were to make a skull. I like how you carved it out. It's, it's a very solid piece. I can see all the skeletal structure. I like how even the teeth, you can see the difference between the skull and the actual teeth portion. Overall, very nice. All right, I feel like everyone here did really well. This is the hardest part for me, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to start eliminating you because only one person will be able to win. All right, Jazz. I'm so sorry. As impressive as your one hour sculpture was, you're out. Mackenzie, I'm sorry, but your snake didn't make it. Final three, Jake. 
I really, really love your venom, but at the end of the day, the mouth wasn't complete. I'm sorry. You're gonna be out, Jake. <laughs> Izzy and Michelle, you two are in the finals. Here's where it gets interesting. Artists, come over here. Even though you guys are out, I'm gonna let you decide which one is the better art piece. Judges, come with me for a moment. The final decision lies in your hands. So guys, <laughs> All right, we have a decision. For the 2021 Watermelon Sculpting Olympics, we have a unanimous winner. Michelle! No! <laughs> Michelle, how long has it been since you've won a crafts challenge? Like four, maybe five months. That's a long time. Yeah, I'm just really happy that I get to give up to 5,000 to my dad because he's gonna spend it on me. And that was just the first challenge. Later in this video, we still have banana, pancake, pasta, and so many other art competitions. Today, we will be making art out of pumpkins! Yay! <laughs> we have over a hundred pumpkins, small ones, large ones, all shapes and sizes. Whoever has the best pumpkin art after six hours wins up to five grand for a subscriber. Your six hours has begun. I got stuck with the ugly duckling of a pumpkin. I have this giant pumpkin and this tiny cutting board. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. This one looks like a nice little pumpkin. The first thing I need to do is put on sunscreen, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, go grab me a pumpkin from over there. Put it in front of me. Michelle, you just let Mackenzie beat you. You wouldn't beat Mackenzie, but you started walking at the end. Jake, you're first. Come with me. Since you're first, you are gonna whack two people's art. Michelle's gonna be one of them because she was last, and then the other one you can choose. Not my giant pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, Jake, who's next? Ah! Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think Jake did more damage by knocking yeah! the pumpkin to the ground. Jake, what's your plan? I'm going to be making a tentacle face guy. Are you confident this time? I'm very confident. Out of everyone here today, who's your main competition? Probably Jake. I think you'll be okay. Yay! I'm gonna try to do a venom pumpkin. Half of it like venom, and then the other half like a zombie character. Who has the worst pumpkin out of everyone? Jazz is pretty lopsided. Me or my pumpkin? Oh, both. <laughs> the big one, I'm thinking of making it into a cowboy. You are going to carve a face. <laughs> half of it's going to be zombie pumpkin, and then half of it's going to be regular pumpkin. That's what I'm doing. You heard my idea, then you copied me. I said it first. Okay. Actually, Ben did Wait, say it first. Wait, you said zombie pumpkin? Oh, I don't want to do the same thing as you. Lame. I'll give you 10 bucks if you take a bite out of this. Huh? 10 bucks could be hitting somebody 10 times. <laughs> Okay, you can do that then. Mackenzie, take a bite out of this for 10 bucks. No, no, no. Nope. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What? How's that 10 bucks? How does it like buck you 10 times? Ow! Everyone's working on their pumpkins. I'm honestly quite excited to see what they come up with, but I heard they need more carving tools to make the best pumpkin, so we're gonna do a little challenge to see who gets it. Everyone, grab a pumpkin. Is it too late to switch? All right, Jazz, stand in there. All right, whoever throws it the furthest gets the additional tools. Oh, I always that wanted way. to throw a pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right, Michelle, go. Yeah. Oh. Mackenzie. <laughs> Ben's the only one that got a tiny one! <laughs> All right, Ben, you're first, so we're gonna have additional tools for you. You can choose any of the tools. Since Mackenzie's last, now she has to lose a tool. Jake, take yeah. a tool from her. This one. Why do I keep getting screwed? <laughs> All right, Jake, choose three tools. So since Jake got second place, he gets to choose three tools and then Ben gets the rest. I get all those? Yeah, these are all yours. Let's go! Guys, come get your tools. I don't even know how to use any of these. <laughs> ben was very kind, so I don't think I'm gonna destroy his art. Just gonna sketch this out and then go in and start carving dimensions. Getting a smooth outline is probably the hardest part for me right now. Everyone has five minutes to carve a small pumpkin. Go! Three, two, one, stop carving. Michelle, what do you have for me? I did a ZT. That was actually kind of clean. I did a smiling pumpkin. I think Michelle beat you on this one. Mine is a puking jack-o-lantern. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. 
Ren, let me see yours. What the heck, Ben? I made an owl face. Look at him, mine's a little angry face with two fangs. All right, Mackenzie, you won. Ben, you lost. So we're in a very large open field right now. If you look around, you're gonna run that. All the way to the end of the yeah. Bro! <laughs> I want you to hold this the entire way to remind you why you lost. Run, Ben! Mackenzie, you gotta choose someone to go run with Ben. Jake, I'm sorry, go. All right, Jake, Jake sorry, run! Go. No promises, your art will be destroyed. We'll see about that. This pumpkin is a reminder that I tried my best. It's gonna take me a minute to get back. I should have known Mackenzie would have chosen me to run this. Now I will make sure to win the mini challenges. And destroy whatever she has done. I'm working on the eye, and it's taking a really long time, and it's really annoying. Ben! Who is that? I found a wild Jake. Hello. I need to go pee. All right, Jazz, what do we have here? A scaly dragon. You're not doing the zombie? No, I didn't want to do the same thing as Ben because I thought that was boring. I think your dragon needs more volume. This is hard. Keep working at it. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Finally, someone complimented me. Oh my goodness, Mackenzie, that chunk is bothering me so much. Well, don't look at it. I'm actually not sure what's going on with Mackenzie. She usually works pretty fast. Jake, you rubbed off your bad juju on me. Michelle, you didn't even start your large one yet. I'm really dreading it. I'm thinking of just cutting it out and putting the little ones in there. Wait, Jake. I feel like you're starting to slow down a little bit. Not to say it doesn't look good because it actually looks really good. I'm still really upset about this hole that Jake made. What am I supposed to do with that? I have another challenge for you all. Over there are a ton of haystacks. First person to paint one side of the haystack with their color will win something. Don't be last. Go. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. It needs to be entirely filled in. I think Mackenzie's about done. Mackenzie's first. I'm done. Jake, you're good. Michelle's done. I think Ben finished first. You're still spraying. Go back to your seats. You're first. Jake second. So what's gonna happen is Mackenzie can choose someone to work for her for 45 minutes. Um. Three, two. Ben! What? You are on Team Mackenzie for the next 45 minutes. Jake, you get to add someone to your team for 30 minutes. I think I should cripple Michelle indefinitely. All right, Michelle, you're on Team Jake for 30 minutes. I finally get chosen for something like this. I'm not sure if you guys know, but Jazz gets something too. You have 100 shots and it's not the shots you usually like. You have to put this through the basketball hoop 100 times. A pumpkin? Yeah. It's gonna break after the first one. Kobe! Nope. Kobe! Ew! I can't see your arm. The tan line, look at that. <laughs> oh no! Sunscreen my arm, please. Do you hear what she's making me do? I told him to pick 100 blades of grass. Uh, one, two, three. I didn't tell any of my friends yet, but if any one of them loses, they're getting pumpkin guts dumped all over them. Wait, what? I didn't say anything. Have fun. Go beat up Ben. Stop. Hey, Ben! Stop! Ah! Why are you running? This is what my master told me to do. Go distract me. What's going on? Ben, stay on his arm. <laughs> okay, Ben, come back down. Playing Jake's server is hard work. They look like they're miserable, so. I think I actually got lucky by that being my punishment. Michelle, I think I'm going to relieve you of your duties. Thank early. you. Zach said it looked good, so. I think I got a boost of confidence now. I feel pretty good. I'm gonna make another alien. And then I'm gonna do a little presentation, and it's gonna be like the claw. Everyone went to go get supper. I want to make sure that my project is 100% finished, so I am staying out here and finishing it. Now it's dark and cold out here. I'm feeling like I'm going to finish at least, so that's a positive. Alright, so we're on our final hour right now. Jake, how is it going? I actually think I'm going to finish, as long as my art doesn't get destroyed. Everyone listen up, we have another challenge. Over there is a pumpkin patch. Underneath one of the pumpkins is a bottle cap. Bring me that bottle cap. You got it? Alright. Good job, Mackenzie. Wait, you found that really fast, actually. Yes! One person you can throw pumpkin guts at. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. You may want to go change your shirt. Oh, what did I do to you, Mackenzie? Why do I get more? Now I smell like cow poo. I just 
put some lights on my pumpkin to see if it would bring it to life. Jazz, what do you think of my pumpkin? I think you made it look very beautiful and very well put together. You guys have 30 seconds to hold as many pumpkins as possible. Go! 15 seconds. All right, everyone come over here. Let's see how many you have. Nine for Jess. Five, six. What on earth? <laughs> Jeez, Jake, what the heck? Jake, you have 21. Eight, nine, 10. Ben's in second place with 11. Jake, how'd you get 21? I just found a whole bunch and then I stuffed myself. Everyone get back to their places. Jake, come with me. For this next scene, we have some pumpkin on pumpkin action. You're gonna choose one person's pumpkin, you're gonna grab another pumpkin, and you're gonna use it as a projectile. Why? <laughs> Yours is the only option, and I wouldn't be no. doing this if I didn't have it. Oh, it smells so bad! Wait, it smells like my lizard's poop. <laughs> Gotta stand behind here. It was rotten, that's why! It's been a nice challenge already. <laughs> I didn't really like this piece that much anyways. Now I don't really have anything to submit. With that one throw, Jake literally just eliminated Mackenzie from the competition. Unless she comes back in like 30 minutes. There's two that's on here, it's so gross. Ah, I I only have 30 minutes! Five, four, three, two, one, we're done! Good job, guys. And Michelle, why don't you tell me about your piece? So I made a bunch of little aliens. They have little lights in them. I use the big pumpkin kettle as like a storage. How do you feel about this piece? I feel pretty good, but I don't know if I'll make the dub. Let's see if you end up making the dub. <laughs> All right, Jake, tell me about your piece. I made a with tentacle-faced man with a pirate hat, and then I also changed up to add some nostrils. <laughs> I don't know why you added those nostrils. It really looks like a gorilla now. Nice detail. I, I like how there's depth for the tentacles. I think you did get caught up on the tentacles a little bit. Nonetheless, very nice job. Jazlyn, tell me about your pumpkin dragon. So this was my ambitious dragon. I made it very scaly, and at first I was just doing the outline, but I wanted to make it pop. I tried to make it very dimensional by cutting it out. I like the lights showing through inside. It felt like it could have used some work up here just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Good job. Then, not gonna lie, this turned out better than I expected, especially after you added like a couple extra elements on there. This is my zombie. His name is Frank. He's got toothpick for teeth. He has some decoration. Those are the two eyes. And he has a little tongue. Very creative. I don't think anyone else added decorations like you did. Jazz gave me that idea. I like it, Ben. Good job. Mackenzie, tell me about your masterpiece. Obviously, mine got destroyed. So I had 30 minutes to make this monster eyeball. It's pretty good for a 30 minute piece, but it's gonna be tough making the cut. At least I was able to partially complete something in 30 minutes. Okay. If anyone didn't hear, I only had 30 minutes. How long did you have, Jen? 30 minutes! Good job, Mackenzie. Let's start out with the elimination. Mackenzie, even though it's good for 30 minutes, I don't think it quite makes the cut. So, bring over the pumpkin sauce. Mackenzie, so you have been eliminated. <laughs> good luck, guys! <laughs> All right, Michelle, no, you are not eliminated. <laughs> this one's gonna be close. There can only be three people that make it into the voting round, so Jazz, unfortunately, what? gonna be <laughs> You know mine was so much better! <laughs> I have put it up on Twitter as a poll. There's pumpkin one, two, three. We're gonna see which one they like best. It's too cold for pumpkin oh. juice. Please vote for me. Come on, subscribers. I'm scared. <laughs> Zach was about to eliminate me anyways. I should probably take off my lashes. Ooh, this is a close one. Ooh. Oh. Ah! In third place, we have... Dang! No! No! Wait, you're Dang! Oh! Ah! Dang! Get away from me! I don't want to go home. Do you guys want to know the final vote? Yes. As you guys know, second place is going to double dip, which means after I announce it, they're going to get one more. But the vote was 36% to 46%. And the person with 36% of the votes... Michelle! Ah! 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 Jake, that means you win! Let's go!
Let's go to the next challenge. Today we're gonna be making art out of candy. And whichever one of you has the best candy art after five hours wins up to five grand for a random subscriber and a lifetime supply of candy. Whoa! You guys have 60 seconds to pick out your candy. That's for us. What are you doing? Mackenzie, what the heck? She's destroying our set on purpose. Content. Time's up, you guys can't grab any more candy. And Ben's already eating candy. We've worked with gum, jelly beans, and they've honestly gotten pretty creative with it. I think if it were up to me, I would take a large canvas and do a candy dragon. It's definitely gonna be an interesting challenge because I have a couple twists up my sleeve, even though I don't have any sleeves today. And this is the aftermath of my beautiful candy store. I want a couple food challenges. I want gumball and watermelon. So maybe food is just what I'm good at. It's a red potato. Yes. I've decided on making a snake. I tried to grab as much as I could before Mackenzie's filthy paws just took everything from the table. I collected a lot of candy. I am going to make a lion head. Also, if you lose in this video, you get slimed at the end. No! Oh. Michelle, I found the perfect candy for you. What are the chances on one side it says art, on the other side it says math? That's you and me. I am math. My boy Ben's eating good. I feel sick now. Like, what are you making though? I don't know. It's ready to be up when the next video. I've been really into birds lately, so I will do a flamingo. Who eats dots? I love dots. Don't you dare. You like dots? These candies are gross. It looks like everyone's really focused on working right now. I have a couple little challenges to get them out of their comfort zone, and I just thought of a really good one. Everyone, listen up. We have our first challenge. Follow me. All right. Michelle, give me a color. Red. Whoever can separate the most red Skittles in 30 seconds gets an advantage. Go. It needs to be in a pile with only red. If I see another color Skittle, you're disqualified. Red only. Red only. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, stop what you're doing. Vinny, how many red Skittles do you have? 39. 45. 48. 38. 45. Ben, you're the winner for this mini challenge. Let's go. You got to choose two people and eliminate one color of candy. Can I consult with somebody? Like sure. Gonna... Michelle. Hey, so what color? Let's take a look around. I don't know. Let's go. Something's happening. Ben's taking a look around. Hey, what are you making? Uh, a snake with these. I actually might need one of these. Wait, what? That looks like something else. It's a She said it. I didn't. <laughs> so you're not trying to target Michelle at all? Nah. That tells me. No black, Jake. OK, that's fine. I literally have no black candy. Let's see. I'm going to target Ken's. Go over. Go over. Yeah, look me in the eye while you do it. <laughs> no red. Okay. Hey, Vinny, what are you going to give me if I make this shot in the trash can? I'll give you there? a dollar if you make that. I'll give you three tries, too. Nope. Uh, not the light, the trash can. Kobe, let's go! I'll Venmo you. All right, sounds good. I feel sick from eating all that candy. I am Miss Lunchy. I'm queen of food. I am going to win today. I'm a little bored right now, so I came up with a pretty good idea to raise the stakes. David, go around and choose someone. Five seconds to choose one. Five, four, three, two, one. Mackenzie. So if Mackenzie ends up winning this challenge, I'll give you 500 bucks. Sweet. Honestly, if I were to choose someone, I would probably go with Jake. Yeah, no, I think Kenzie will pull through. Just because you didn't choose me, I'm actually going to try now. That's, that, that's actually not half bad. I want to give him a mouth, but like octopuses don't have mouths, don't. so I'm just keep it like that. Yeah. I am now wrapping my snake with fruit by the foot. I feel like seeing so much candy is bringing out my entire childhood again. So I just came up with a couple new challenges. <laughs> Everyone, it's time for challenge number two. Come over here, take a fruit roll up and open it up. We're gonna play the game where you start with a tip on your tongue and you're gonna try to eat it all the way up. Person who finishes first gets an advantage. Last person, punishment. Go. Oh my goodness, it's really close between Vinny and Jake. Oh, Vinny won it. Vinny won it by half a second. Michelle, you got it. And Mackenzie, you got it. Ben, I thought you ate a lot of candy. And since you lost, you're getting punished. And Vinny, choose anyone to join Ben. Ben. Michelle? Why? All right, Ben and Michelle, come with me. All right, Ben, Michelle, sort these into colors, and then you can get back to work. Okay, easy, easy, easy. This is more fun than the actual challenge. I'm happy Vince didn't choose me because sorting those does not look fun. Ah, uh, this is hurting my neck. I chose uh, to punish Michelle just because uh, that's my nemesis. I gotta beat Michelle. Wahoo! Be dead. Oh, you're gonna win everything. The biggest reason why I want to win is because I want to make Zach proud and I am not 
quitting today. Originally, I picked a lion because I was going to use sweet tart ropes for the mane, but Ben took away my ability to use red. I'm turning this into a bear. Hey, Ken's, how's it going? Call me, David, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. Zach said that he would have betted on me, so that makes me feel confident. This is what I have so far. The bottom lip is a little chunky, but I think it, it's all right. I'm too tempted. I saw some gummy candy net, and I want to try it. Cheers. It's not bad. I feel pretty good. How would you like it? This is driving me crazy. There's too much to put on. All right, everyone, we have our third challenge. Rules are simple. I'll chuck a gummy bear up, and you just gotta catch it in your mouth. You have three tries. So whoever wins this gets a pretty solid advantage. Jake, you ready? <laughs> no way! He got three for three! You ready? Yeah. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Jake made it look really easy, because it's actually not that easy. <laughs> nope. <laughs> there you go. Whoa! All right, Michelle, you ready? <laughs> nope. I'm not very good at this. Nope. I'll stay anyway. Oh. All right, Vinny, you ready? Nope. I guess the rest doesn't matter anymore, so there you go. There's your gummy bear. Jake, I don't know how you got three for three. Everyone was struggling to even get one. Acting like my life was on the line. So for your advantage, you can choose two contestants and make them play a game of Candyland, which takes around half an hour. Really? Let me just go around. Candyland. <laughs> Vince gets to play Candyland. Yay. You can go play Candyland. Okay, <laughs> Mackenzie. All right, so Vinny and Mackenzie have to play start to finish. Have fun. Ken, remember, take your time. So Mackenzie and Vinny are playing Candyland. Oh, it could take one, two, or three hours, which would suck for them because there's 57 minutes left. I'm done. This game sucks. They just finished Candyland in five minutes. I guess my plan wasn't as diabolical as I thought it would be. Zachary, you said it was a huge advantage. Jake, this is extremely impressive, but if you look at Vinny's, it's very, very complete. I think I did way better than I anticipated. I think it's gonna come down to me and Jake. Videographer, give me the camera real quick. Why don't you walk over and take a look at Jake's piece? Yeah, it's really good. The teeth look good, the tongue's good. Look at this awesome bear, Dave. It doesn't look so good. It's a win. It's got number one. Number one. You get slimed if the person you bet on loses. What? Going to the desert has made me a lot nicer. <laughs> a lot nicer. I... Michelle was so mean on our date night video on her channel. I thought I was gonna die. And I'm just very grateful and happy to be here, Nancy. Vinny's one of my good friends. For some reason today, his piece looks really good. This was kind of out my alley. He works with wood. Wait, I thought you said no black for Jake. I didn't use black. Black oh. Oh, I have to cover it all. Did you use a black? No! <laughs> Jake forgot about his disadvantage. Jake, if those are black jelly beans, you need to take them out right now. You have two and a half minutes to take it out before you're disqualified. Rolls are rolled. If he can't finish that, I'll have a more finished piece for him. And he, that's good news for me. Five, four, three, two, one. And time is up. Everyone stop working. We're gonna get to judging. Jake, why don't we start over here? Well, I originally was going to make a snake, but I'm gonna call it a sand serpent now. It kind of like resembles a dragon in the front as well. I really like the detail. I, I think the most impressive thing about this piece is the mouth. I must say, Jake, this is probably one of your more impressive pieces, especially the head. Good job, Jake. Thank you. All right, Mackenzie, why don't you tell me about your piece? So this is a teddy bear. It's probably one of my best pieces I've ever done, and I'm gonna be really upset if I don't win. <laughs> It's not a bad piece, it's a solid piece. I don't like that the aluminum foil is still exposed. I also wouldn't say that this was one of your best pieces. Ben, what do we have here? I made an Oni mask. I used jelly beans, because it's probably like the only thing I knew how to use. And I am glad that you didn't give up. I am disappointed in your effort. Since I am your mentor, one of the biggest things I teach you is hard work and determination, and I only saw a tiny bit of that today. Michelle, tell me about your flamingo. I gave the flamingo Vinny's legs. Oh, because oh, Vinny has skinny legs. We get a shot of these fat quads. <laughs> well, I think it was really cute that you used these as like feathers and yeah. you kind of like tilted them up. This is a fairly strong piece, Michelle. I, yeah! It's not bad. Good job, Michelle. Vinny, what do we have here? Uh, I got an octopus coming out of the water. I used gumballs, Pez, Ring Pops, Jolly Ranchers, Mike and Ike's, Jelly Beans. Zach did give me the idea of the water. I'm not gonna lie, I am extremely impressed right now. People are gonna start taking you seriously because this is a very good piece. Like
So before we do a subscriber poll to see who wins, I am going to eliminate a few people right off the bat. Michelle, I was rooting for you from the very start. They give me a chance! I'm gonna eliminate you. Sorry, Michelle. In the comments, please say that I'm better than Vince. No! And Mackenzie, I am also going to be eliminating your piece. It is definitely not as strong as some of the other pieces here. So a round of applause for Michelle and Mackenzie. Vinny, Ben, Jake. I am thinking of a number from one through three. Two. Three. One. Jake, you automatically move on to the finals. Yes! Vinny, Ben, we're playing a game called Sudden Death with my subscribers. I'm gonna ask one subscriber which one they like best, and they'll choose. I asked Juan Jose, which piece is your favorite? The person moving on to the finals to compete against Jake is... Vinny! Ah! For our final round, there will be three subscribers determining your fate. <laughs> the first vote goes to... Vinny! Oh! I'm screwed! You only need one more vote to win this entire competition. I'm very excited. I asked Jenna, which one is your favorite piece? And Jenna's vote goes to... Jake! No! <laughs> You're back in the game, it's all tied up. For those of you guys that are participating in this poll, I love you guys and, and thanks for subscribing. Just subscribe and you can vote as well. So I asked Jake, which piece do you like the best? That's not fair. Hey, it's a random subscriber and his name just so happens to be Jake. Vinny, Jake, come up over here. Oh, God. All right. And the winner that's gonna win up to five grand for a random subscriber and a lifetime supply of candy for themselves is... Jake! Ah! <laughs> This next one's gonna be really cool. We have cake training and a cake competition. Let's move on to that. Today we will be learning how to make cake art with a professional cake artist. We will be learning five cake art skills and the two people who perform the best each lesson will get a point. And whichever one of these five contestants has the most points at the end of the class will win a thousand dollar gift card to this bakery. Before we started, I had them all make cake art without any prior knowledge and training. This is Michelle. She is a professional cake artist and she will be your teacher for today. I took culinary arts for one semester. Without further ado, for lesson number one, Michelle will teach you how to make icing. The first rule when making buttercream icing is that you want your butter completely at room temperature. Now we're gonna add the powdered sugar. So for lesson number one, you guys have to make icing from scratch. Go. Time to make the best buttercream ever created. Half a pound, so you need eight of them. Wow, I should be telling you guys this. We need two of these. It should have just been one. So it wasn't one pound of shortening? It should have been half. Half a pound. It was half a pound. Nobody else knows that. Finally finished microwaving my butter. You know it's not a race, but I am ahead of everyone right now. Now I'm going to start fixing. You guys might be wondering, why isn't Ben in this challenge? Ben is allergic to dairy. He's allergic to eggs. If you can pronounce the name, he's probably allergic to it. <laughs> this is the nastiest thing that's ever happened to me. I kind of followed everything to the T. It looks pretty white. It looks pretty creamy. Your icing is looking pretty nice. Thank you. I don't know what I'm doing. Michelle, how do you think you're doing so far? Well, I'm finished. Michelle, so they have all made their own icing now, and why don't you go around to take a look, and, and you can let me know which two perform the best in the class. So, a little bit. so which two of your students over here do you think perform the best? Michelle and Nick. <laughs> That means one point for Michelle, one point for Nick. And I was just going off taste, and obviously my taste buds are whack. Honestly, my frosting is really good. Yo, Ben, you should try this. Yeah, if you want to see me inflate like a balloon. You just got to ask, who performed the worst? I am sorry, I am going to pick you because it was the saltiest. <laughs> I actually didn't tell you guys earlier, there is a twist. If you're the worst one in each lesson, you get negative one point. That means, Jake, you are now at negative one point. So I have to win one to get back to zero. Yes. And with that being said, let's go to our second lesson. Michelle will teach you guys how to stack and shape cakes. The first thing you want to do is level it. It's going in a circle. Just kind of spread it to the outside. Wow. That's, That's so, so pretty. pretty. Wow. <laughs> When you guys spread your icing, it better look that satisfying. Oh, oh no, no, not the sun. I can't oh. 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 Look at that corner, it's so clean. <laughs> I will give you guys five minutes to make your cake look like that. That's pretty flat to me. <laughs> nope. No. I realized when you cut it, there weren't that many crumbs. I'm looking for a, a clean finish. Even if it has crumbs in it, that's okay. It just needs to have straight yeah. edges. Nick is doing a good job down there. Cake looks pretty level. Yeah, I think David and Nick are in the lead so far. Oh my god. How do you do that? I'm a cream master. <laughs> 
I'm so nervous for them. A lot of these look really rough. I have no idea how Michelle finished this in like five minutes. Three, two, one. Everyone stop what you're doing. The top layer should have been turned the other way. Yeah. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit on the sides, but overall, good shape. And the sides aren't completely finished, and you can still see through the middle of the cake. So it just needs more icing and, and more finishing. Do you appreciate how level your top was? Working really well, I think with a little more time, you would have gotten the edges cleaner. Without Michelle's expertise, I think David has the prettiest one. Yes, I agree that you have the most finished coated cake in the class. Michelle, so who were the best two performers in this lesson? Best is David and Michelle. Michelle, you are currently in the lead with two points. Nick and David, you both have one. I suck at cake art. Who was the worst? Unfortunately, it was Jake. All right, Jake's at negative two. And with that being said, time for lesson number three. This is just very unfair, and I hate it, and I'm sad, and I'm gonna lose, and I'm just not feeling so good. At least I don't have negative two like Jake. This next challenge is mine. For lesson number three, Michelle will be teaching them icing skills. Now, I'm gonna show you guys some um, typing bag techniques. Here's your bag, right? You're just gonna drop your tip in there. Make sure it's facing the right way. Cut it like a little bit below. Oops. Oh, oh my god. Kind of like a teardrop. This mound of icing is just kind of like the foundation of the rose. I'm gonna start in the middle. Whoa. Okay, we're just gonna do a fancy like cursive. Oh, oh, I used to write on cakes at Dairy Queen. Did you? Scales are a little trickier. You're kind of making like little U shapes. Now we're going to make some icing that looks like fur using the grass tip. You just keep going over it. All right, guys, any other questions before we start? What are my chances of not getting last? No, 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 no. We will be making rose number one, rose number two that you guys saw. We'll be writing out ZHC, making scales, and you guys will be making fur. Your test has started. You guys have 10 minutes. Nick, you don't have anything. Still trying to get the icing in the bag. I could bake all day, every day. What is going on? Jake, you have been dead last every single time. How are you gonna pick it up this round? I'm going to re use all the skills that I just learned and hopefully not have the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the expert, but don't do this. <laughs> Who has been struggling so far with this? For sure, Nick. Now the buttercream is melting, so it's, it's more problematic for him. Michelle is doing a great job with her handwriting. Jake is doing a great job on, on his rose. I was impressed. Well, let's see what they make in the final minute. Mine's obviously not the best, but I at least have five. So cute, yes! Three, two, one. Everyone stop what you're doing. Nick, stop what you're doing. Let's start from the back this time. Okay. <laughs> you struggled a little bit with, I think, how much icing you had in your bag, and then it started getting warm and I soft, and it, it became a little bit of a mess. Uh, Kenzie, you're, you're Script writing looks very pretty. I would have liked to see the fur too and all of the uh, techniques. I think my frosting was too soft. It kept melting everywhere. David, you did a great job on all of the techniques. I can clearly see the fur looks great. The cursive writing is beautiful with the little embellishments. You did all of them Thank great. You. I think you did overall. I did, did a great job. Your rose looks really beautiful for not having ever done it before. The petals on the flowers look a little more like ribbons. It's really the main one that can use some of it. Yeah. Who are your top two for this lesson? David and Michelle. Ooh. Who would you say failed this lesson? Unfortunately, uh, Nick failed. I believe Michelle's in the lead and Jake, you're still last. I suck at cake art, guys. Well, really you don't bad. have to tell them that. They already saw it. I really want this gift card. That's why I'm trying so hard. I'm like this is rigged, I should have won that challenge. Who cares about the fur? For lesson number four, Michelle will teach you guys how to sculpt with fondant. What exactly is fondant? It's sugar. I just remembered, we actually designed a lot of our own characters. Do you think you could do something like this? Yeah. I'm trying to leave enough of the fondant here so I can shape the, the roundedness. These tools come in handy to make little lines like... Whoa. Tuck it in those little corners. Wow, that looks so good. That is really impressive. Is it okay if Ben just takes a bite out of it? Go for it, it's all yours. Hey, go. Don't do too big. Oh, it's like beer sugar. All right, let's get this started. So for lesson number four, your test, you will be making bubbles. You guys have 10 minutes, go. 10 minutes is not very long to build this guy out. So for fondant sculpting, what do you think they should be focusing on? They should be focusing on learning how to make the right size shapes and making sure that they can get 
little details that, that bring that small piece of fondant to life. But I'm very nervous about this one because I'm not very good at sculpting. Uh, Mackenzie and David definitely know what they're doing. So does Jake. I'm a little worried. I feel like I'm getting better as the day goes on. It's gonna look like a snack. No, no, I feel bad. Well, sculpting's not so much my forte, but yeah. we got this one in the bag. Final minute, wrap it up. Three, two, one. Everyone stop what you're doing. Whoa! I think, I think uh, proportion are a little off here. Wait, last second I added the black on. Just the whole cube. <laughs> I think in general we just wanted to see more. Yes, this is a, a very cute 2D version of Bubba. You could have worked a little bit more cleanly on the white part, but you have the, all the right elements. The proportions are a little off, but you, yeah. you did get all the elements. Those eyes kind of scare me, Nick. This is cute, very cute. Yeah. And, and I like that you did a 3D version. I would just say, again, you could have done a little bit more finely on the mouth, but overall, yes, great job. Ooh, very nice, David. Thank you. Yes, this is adorable. Gills, the fins, facial details in there, so Thank good job. Who failed this lesson? Jake failed. Jake! <laughs> <laughs> Who are the two people that did the best in this lesson? Kenzie and David did the best. Ooh. It is a tie between Michelle and David right now. They last again. So what I think about the piece. <laughs> Whoa, this actually looks kind of cool. Whoa! Whoa! Every single Mine is literally an actual fillet. Look, <laughs> we have some bubbles sashimi. For their final lesson, they will be learning how to airbrush. <sighs> dries pretty quickly. Everyone two seats then. For the final test, they will be tested with three different airbrush skills. First one, stenciling. Second, they'll do a gradient. And third one, they'll write subscribe. Well, sub, subscribe's kind of long. Start out with your stencils. You may begin. All right, very nice. Let's move on to the next one. So for the one with the gradient, what are you looking for? I'm looking for a very subtle difference between light to medium to dark. So for the last one, you guys need to write sub. For the lettering, what do you think is the most important thing? Legibility and cleanliness and their font. Nope. Oh, what is that? Three, two, one, we're done. Good job, guys. Michelle, so after seeing everyone's technique with the airbrush, let's start out with who you think performed the worst. <laughs> yeah, good that greedy. I have to say Nick. So you end at negative one. Without further ado, why don't you give me the first person that performed the best in this lesson? David. Very nice, David. Currently, David is sitting at four points, and we have one more person. Michelle. Michelle! Both of you guys win a $500 gift certificate to Michelle's Bakery. Yay! When we do the official challenge, you guys have a chance to win the additional $500 gift certificate if you win. And now let's go to the cake art competition. Today we will be making cake art. So whichever one of these five artists has the best cake art after six hours will win up to five grand for a random subscriber. In the previous video, they all learned how to make cakes, so I'm expecting some pretty good art. Your six hours begins right now. I'm gonna grab extra cake because I know I'm gonna need some because it's gonna be a thick cake. I have an idea. Whether or not it's a good idea, I don't know. I kind of want to make a unicorn. I'm not very good at cake art, I found out. Kenz, I'm not good at cake art either. Okay, you're a lot worse than me. Some of them have already begun, but we're going to have a plot twist right from the beginning. All right, everyone, partner up. Jake! <laughs> Nick! Nick! Hey, I have no Jake, give Nick a topic. Asparagus. All right, Nick, give Jake a topic. Flowers. Mackenzie, give David a topic. Construction. David, give something to Mackenzie. <laughs> Okay, Mackenzie gets poop. Just something poop for later. And Michelle, since you don't have a teammate, you get to choose your own topic. I choose unicorn! Right off the bat, things have fallen into chaos. People are getting the most random topics ever. There's asparagus, there's poop. This is gonna be really interesting to see what they make. Nick, so you need to do something asparagus themed. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what Nick's gonna do either. Jake actually got a pretty good one. Jake, you can make such cool flowers. Mackenzie, even though your topic's poop, you could get creative with it. What animal did you wanna make to start out with? An octopus. You could make a pooping octopus? That's so gross. Yours better be the most appetizing out of everyone's. Right now, nobody's teaching me how to do anything. Thing, so I'm kind of just free balling it and it's not really working very well. First thing, leveling the cake. Okay, well, oh man. Kids, can you hear me from all the way over there? 
Yes, Jake, I can hear you. You're trash, you're gonna lose. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I was so excited for my hermit crab and I have to do construction. Huh? I'm extremely happy that Nick gave me flowers because that's literally one of the only things we learned how to do. I mean, obviously, I could just do a poop cake, but I don't really want to do that. I'm gonna do a three layer cake and try and make it beautiful like a unicorn. I'm not competing because I'm allergic to everything and I would die, but if I had to choose someone who I think is gonna win, I'd choose Jake. It looks like you've been using your skills learned from the last video. Does it look like I've been using my skills? David, since you and Michelle won the lesson challenge in the last video, if you win this challenge, you get a $500 gift card to a bakery. I really want to win that. I've got to win. I'm going to get the biggest cake ever. Yeah, so I wanted to do like some sort of monster. See, now I'm doing an asparagus eating monster, and I think it's going to come out really good. I just finished carving off the tops to both of my cakes. Now I'm going to take my frosting, and I'm going to spread it on top. I found out what I'm going to make. It's a little rabbit, and it's pooping. Well, it looks like a shell, kind of. Jake, do you love my cake? Oh, it's a shell. It's a yeah, shell. I'm gonna have to destroy it. In the last video, the artist sculpted bubbles out of fondant. For the first challenge, I'm going to put their new skills to the test and have them sculpt turkey. We are an hour and a half into the challenge. I'm excited to see how these turn out. I'm not sure if I want to eat them though. Not sure if they wash their hands. So I have a mini challenge for you guys to see who gets an advantage. But before we do that, it's Michelle's birthday. Everyone say happy birthday. Happy birthday. She is 24 years old. 24 years young. For the next challenge, everyone follow me to that room over there. You guys have 10 minutes to make turkey out of fondant. I'll be taking a look at whose is the best, whose is the worst. Go. You guys literally just had a lesson on this. Do you guys remember the techniques? I don't think they remember anything. Honestly, I don't remember the steps either. Oh dear. I don't know what's happening. That looks very powdery to me, Nick. I'm so sorry, I'm reaching over you. Whoa, that is a nice steal. This is such a workout and it takes so much work. I used food dye and now my hands are blue also and they probably will be for a week. Instructor never told you to use food dye. Ooh, my hands are gross. So while they're making turkey, I want to remind you guys that if you guys want to buy turkey, it's a very cute plush, you can get it at zhcstore.com. This man over here is sweating bull. Final minute. Three, two, one. Everyone, hands off. So I'm gonna give everyone a placement from one through five. <laughs> that is not number one. <laughs> That's cute. Well, Michelle, I think you beat David out on this one. <laughs> number one, I'm gonna hand it to you, Mackenzie, for getting the perfect color. Michelle, you're number two. Nice. Yes. David, you're number three. Jake, you're next. Nick, you're last. No. Oh, well, we're about to get a punishment. I have no idea what's gonna go on. Safe to say I don't have a career in baking ever. Nick, for coming in fifth, you have 50 jump shots. Jake, 40 jump shots. David, 30 jump shots. Michelle, 20 jump shots. And Mackenzie, for winning, you get to give someone 10 more jump shots. Okay, David! <laughs> go make your jump shots. Let's go, all day. Oh my god! My ankle! Kobe, 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 Kobe. When David gave me the topic of poop, I was really frustrated and I had no idea what to do. But then I found a reference picture of a rabbit pooping and that inspired my idea that I'm doing now. Kobe! Wow! I hate basketball. That was stupid. Oh wow, this is a lot heavier than I thought. <laughs> David, stop it! <laughs> All right, 20 minutes. Let's go make some fun. Honestly, my biggest strength this video so far has been time management. I've been trying to show up to work on time recently. He showed up late today. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> just take it off and redo it. No. Okay. I got a little frustrated with the fondant earlier. I really wish I could do nothing on my birthday, but this is adult life and people work on their birthdays. Are you gonna eat your own cake for your birthday? Yes, I'm gonna eat my own cake for my birthday. Jake's does look good. You got that smooth. Cake. So we're out of white fondant and that was the whole next step of my cake. So I need to wait to get more and I think I'm just gonna work on the little hermit crab body until the new fondant comes. I think I just finished texturizing the body. So now I'm going to sculpt the tail and the feet. Michelle knows what she's doing. I'm very good with my hands. <laughs> the artists have been working super hard on their cakes. So I decided to give them a little extra reward in this next challenge. We are almost down to our last hour and a half. I have a little challenge so they can win some extra money if they win. First person to make frosting out of scratch will win an extra $500 if you do win. Go! Where's the Whoa! What? How'd you find the butter? Go. So they learned how to make frosting from scratch just a few days ago, so I'm hoping they remember everything. Yeah. Luckily for you guys, I'm not gonna taste them. Where's the powdered sugar? I'm making such a mess. Ow! Yeah, yeah, actually that's pretty good. <laughs> 
Mackenzie, oh, 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 if you end up winning this entire challenge, I'll give you five hundred dollars. I don't know what's happening. How do you even get it to look like this? I would say that I'm moving along at a pretty good rate. I have my fondant down on top of my rabbit, and that's farther than some of the other competitors. I have no strengths in this challenge. I think I have a lot of weaknesses in this challenge, <laughs> but I think I could win. Wait, what? <laughs> Guys, the fondant's here. Okay. You might have all we have around an hour or so left. We have one last twist before we keep going. Everyone, meet in that room. So in front of each of you are playing cupcakes. Whoever finishes first will get to take one bite out of someone's piece. Go! Mine had a hair in it. You need to swallow. You need to swallow. Mm. Okay, Michelle. Oh, Michelle's done. Mm -hmm. Come with me. I'll grab you a fork. Michelle, you can only dig out one piece and it has to fit in your mouth. Not <laughs> but the only one that's complete is Mackenzie. Eat Mackenzie's cake. You can be, I'll be nice gentle. and I'll you can gentle. just eat from one of the feet. Oh, 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 oh. Well, Mackenzie, on the bright side, even with the hole in its head, I, I still think you're way ahead of everyone else. I do feel bad because she said yeah, it was her right birthday. Right now, I think my piece is going pretty well. I'm working on sculpting the fondant stems to flowers along the base of the cake. Why do you always wear the hat now? <laughs> what? <laughs> You look like Zach! At this point, we're just throwing stuff on. I'm using my sweat to make this stick. That's so gross. It's definitely taking a little bit of a horror movie turn. I'm so confused, Jake. <laughs> After Michelle took a bite out of my bunny's head, I tried to fix it by putting a little bow on top of her. There are only 20 minutes left in the competition. Some of the artists are definitely going to have to rush to finish their piece if they want to win five grand for a subscriber. I finally finished the face of my unicorn, so that's good. 33 seconds left. I don't know what I'm doing. I think he's done. Hopefully Zach likes that. We have 25 seconds, Gus. Come on, Gus. Come on, Gus. It's been six hours and everyone's done with their cake art. Ben is gonna be judging with me. David, tell us about your piece. Oh, this is Henry the Hermit Crab. He's fabulous and he lives underneath like a little construction cargo ship. And I made him with lots of fondant and I airbrushed the shell. David, with like 20 minutes left, you literally had nothing down over here. How did you pull this off in the last 20 minutes? I have no idea. The one thing I wish was a little bit better was the tool. I think the shell is my favorite part. I Thank love the you. texture. Good job, David. All right, Jake, tell me about this. So oh, I got the topic of flowers from Nick. Oh, so we have like soil and like normal flowers over here, but then this guy is like a flower demon and his influence just like floods over all the regular flowers. I mean, this looks like a very complete piece. It's very gory and kind of creepy and I really like it. The only thing I would say is I wish you had a little bit more time with the leaves down here so you could make a couple more intricate ones. All right, good job, Jake. All right, Michelle, tell me about your cake. I made Corny the Unicorn. It's a four layer cake, and if you cut into it, it's also blue, pink, and purple. I got inspiration from Rosie. Yeah. Very cool. Out of all the cakes so far, if I could eat it, I think I would eat Michelle's. I would say this looks the most like a normal cake. I wish you could have smoothed out the front a little bit. It does look a little bit rough at the bottom. The too. fondant I had to use was all dried out. Good job. Nick, tell us about what you made. This is Gus. He's got some asparagus on the side. He's not too hungry, he already ate. I, I don't know if I would say you really embraced the topic. It looks like you made venom and made two, <laughs> two asparagus to put on the side of your piece. But disregarding that, teeth look really, really cool. I, I really like the mouth area. I feel like the head could have used so much more work. Like yours and I have been eating it. It's just there. He doesn't like asparagus. Didn't quite follow the topic, but impressive lips and teeth. Mackenzie, tell us about your piece. I got the topic of poop. So I made a poop colored bunny named and she is pooping. And I tried to fix Michelle's little puncture wound by putting a bow. So right off the bat, I think you utilized the airbrush really, really well. It, it looks like there's there's actual like texture and color to it. The face is very accurate to a bunny. One thing you could have easily done is just added more grass, like filled the whole thing in. I like how the ears are like floppy. You can tell yeah. that they're floppy. Good job, Mackenzie. All right, so Ben and I are gonna go up to each one of you, give you a score out of 10. Whoever has the most points wins. All right, David, my score for you is an eight. And I'm gonna give yours a seven. 
Yeah, yeah. All right. Jake, I didn't think I would like yours so much. I'm going with a nine. Whoa. I'm gonna give it an eight. Okay. Michelle, as a boyfriend, I'd give you a 10, but as a judge, I'd give it a four. Oh, what? Michelle, I think it's a very solid piece. I give it a six. Ow. <laughs> Nick, I don't think you incorporated the topic well. I have to go with a three. Nick, I'm giving you a two. All right. Yes. Mackenzie, I, I think overall you've wowed me with, with how fast you went. I, I would give it an eight and a half. Personally, my favorite is Jake's, but I still think it's really impressive. With Nick, David, and Michelle all out of the competition, it was down to this final vote to decide whether Mackenzie or Jake wins. I'm giving it a nine. Oh, you won by half a point! Hey, congratulations! <laughs> and now that we're done with that challenge, it's time to ramp things up. Today, we will be making art out of food. Yeah! Yeah! You will each get $100 to spend. Whoever has the best food art in four hours wins five grand. What? No! It can be anything you want, as long as it's edible. Losers get pelted by eggs. No! You may go out. Two definite foods that me and Jazz are thinking of getting are buns and noodles. So I kind of want to do a huge cake design. Maybe add some cookies around it. I just want it to look really delicious. I'm doing Jessie from Toy Story. I still don't know exactly what I need. I'm planning on doing Squirt from Finding Nemo. I think I want to see if I can find some instant mashed potatoes to kind of sculpt. What did you buy? Cheerios. We got Pop-Tarts. What are you guys going to make out of food? I just got different types of foods that have different shapes and I think you can use for things like here. Off Jay's gonna use peanut butter as glue and Jess is gonna use Nutella as glue. I'm going to make a live castle with creatures. Since you guys are back early, you can get started. You guys have around three hours left. Jazz spent $98, Jake spent $99, Michelle spent $99.64. Baby, you only spent $82. Kenzie spent $94.27. Looks like everyone's under budget, which means everyone's safe. Keep in mind, your winnings at the end will be split between you, a random subscriber, and a food shelter because to be fair we are wasting some of this food and I feel kind of bad so we're gonna make it up a little bit I'm building the walls of my castle I'm doing like a kind of white and pink color scheme so it's like alternating I'm making a cake that is peach themed the cake is gonna be the water I got some cookies and they're gonna be the palm trees around it and I got some fruit and they're gonna be the animal is that a monkey no it's supposed to be a uh, zombie monster I'm making a sea turtle I'm using the mashed potatoes to form the body and some hard-boiled eggs for the eyes Mackenzie you still want more challenges than anyone else over here you're gonna seal the deal this time. Yes. We have a mini challenge. Whoever eats the most mayonnaise right now will get a huge advantage. Who's down? Me. I'll do what? it. Like I guess. All right. I'm gonna make it. And ate it like a champ. You know what? I'm gonna give the win to Jazz. Michelle is out. Whoa! Alright, go! You good, Jake? Oh man, alright. This time you gotta beat Jake. I go, Jazz! Yes! Damn, boy. Cream. Ice cream. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> For eating that much mayo, you have two huge advantages coming up. What you're gonna start out by doing is you can take one item from each one of the contestants and add it to your own pile. They don't get it back. For example, if you take Jake's buns, he no longer has those buns. They're yours. That's your first advantage. Second advantage, anytime except for the last 30 minutes, you can use a fork, grab a huge chunk out of someone's art. Okay, yeah. exactly. Do you want to go steal an item from everyone? Yes, I do. Okay, I'll take the cookie dough. I'm gonna take a pack of your bugles. I'm gonna go ahead and take your blue. Ooh, I think some bread would be good. Get the bread. All right, everyone, keep working. So, what's going on, Mackenzie? Well, I restarted the head. Oh, how come? Well, I think I was going to be out of material. Is that because Jazz took your cookie dough? Michelle, you sound a little disappointed. What's wrong? I thought this cake was going to be a little bit more firm. It's kind of breaking down on me. I'm just going to build the rest of my walls up with wafers because the Pop-Tarts were too heavy. And then decorate it. I don't like my doll. I think she looks a little creepy. I decided to start over and make an elf. Jake, I smelled yours from a mile away. What's the plan? I'm just gonna keep messing around with it. I gotta add some fingers. That's really gonna jazz things up. Now it's time for a mini challenge. So you guys all have a bag of chips. First person to finish it will win something. Raise your hand. The moment you're done, I'm gonna check to see if you're completely finished. Go! Okay, that's <laughs> Done. Let me see your mouth. That's gross. That was very gross. But Jazz, I'm gonna show you what you win. You win an egg. Do you know what you're gonna do with this egg? Do it. Jazz, you get an egg anyone's card. I feel so bad that I'm winning these and then I have to do mean things. Let's get to it. Jazz, and to make it a little bit more fair, you're gonna have to close your eyes. Oh, she missed! 
She missed! Mackenzie, that landed in the one part you had nothing in. Mackenzie, what's going on through your head right now? I'm really relieved. I'm shaking a little bit. Well, Jazz didn't do too much damage. You can carry on with your masterpiece. I have another challenge. We are going to play a game of hide and seek. Whoever is the last person to be found gets to take one item from everyone. And they have one safety card, which means if someone tries to destroy your item, it doesn't get destroyed. Or if you choose a card that says you're eliminated, you can use it and you're not eliminated. You guys have one minute to hide. One, two, three. If he doesn't find me in like 30 minutes, please tell him I'm in here. Okay, bye. bye. I'm scared. I'm scared. I am squatting on this thing. I'm just gonna go underneath this beanbag. I'm gonna hide right here. Hopefully he doesn't find me. Time is up. Start looking for them. Someone definitely went outside. I can see the door open. I don't see anyone here. Maybe we'll just go inside. Jake is literally right there in this team. He thinks there's no one outside. Jake! <laughs> what the heck? I see you, Jake. Get back to work. Let's make a trip around the house. <laughs> you found me! Viv, get back to work. Oh! I found someone! I was so uncomfortable! <laughs> I feel like someone's outside. Is that a human? Damn it! So does that mean Michelle wins? Yeah, Michelle wins. No. Michelle, let yourself be known! Hello! I was looking in the car. I didn't look in the trunk. All right, get back to work. Michelle, take one item from everyone and you have one safe pass. Where's that little googly eye that you have? Yes! Like you better. Like no. Take back my icing. Right. Thank you very yeah. much. It's a pasta. No, there you go. Michelle. Everyone, you have one hour left. Jazz, you were telling me you wanted to use your little advantage right now. I mean, I figured now is the time since we have an hour left. So feel free to <laughs> scoop a piece out of anyone's heart. I'm sorry, Jake. Oh! oh ew. I was making a zombie. If its face is ripped off, then it's very <laughs> realistic. The next one is gonna be our most brutal challenge yet. Everyone, stop what you're doing. We have a fun little game to play. In this bucket, there are 15 slips of paper. One of them has an X on it. You draw it, you're out of the challenge. Close your eyes. All right, you're safe, Viv. Oh! Jazz, out of all the cars in here, you chose that one. Everyone stand around, Jazz. What's going on through your head right now? I'm pretty devastated that I didn't get to finish my pool party mansion. Jazz, I must say that looks incredible, but sorry, you're out. <laughs> GG, Jazz. Oh! I mean, you didn't have to destroy it. Oh, look! Ooh. Ooh, blank. Blank! Ooh, all right. <laughs> Round two. All right, Viv, go ahead and choose. Blank. Oh, Michelle, this is the second round, and the second round, I was just gonna give you a dollar if you chose the X. I just wanted to scare you guys. Jake, if you choose the X, you get a dollar. That's nice. You guys have around 40 minutes left. is up. Mackenzie, tell me about your food art. So I created a sea turtle, put some little fishies in there, and some seaweed. I can't believe you sculpted using <laughs> mashed potatoes. Good job, Mackenzie. I made an undead Sasquatch zombie. It's got <laughs> some broken, decomposed teeth, peanut butter hair. This is its torso area. It's covered by dirt, aka coffee grinds. I mean, Jake, honestly, it doesn't look too bad. So I did a beach-themed cake. I have cookie star fish, some goldfish, here I did palm trees and a crab and fruit. Crab actually turned out a lot cuter than I thought and good choice stealing the googly eyes. I started off with her. Not gonna lie, I didn't think it was too bad. Then I tried again and then I made an elephant. This actually looks like a dish that would be like a centerpiece at a table. I really like the garnish and the background. I like how you used a lot of fruits, you used salads, you used sprinkles, a variety of stuff. Very nice. As you know, there can only be one winner so I'm gonna eliminate one person at a time. The first person that's gonna be out and pelted by eggs. Jake, I'm sorry. What? I didn't think it was too bad. I thought it was pretty creative. You had a good idea. I'm sorry, Jake. For the last few, these are all very good. Babe, I'm sorry, you're out. Very beautiful food art, but you're getting eggs. So we have Mackenzie's and we have Michelle's. Michelle, yours is so pretty, but like, I feel like Mackenzie straight up destroyed everyone. All of you did such a good job, but I feel like Mackenzie's really, really stood out today. Good job, Mackenzie. That was pretty cool. Cool. But that challenge
challenge is nothing compared to what we have coming up next. Today we will be making pancake art! And whichever one of you has the best pancake art after three hours gets to win up to five grand for a food bank of your choice. Oh. All right, your three hours begins now. I haven't made pancakes in a while, but I actually used to make them all the time, so I'm practically a pro. Make sure they taste good because I am going to do a taste test. And if it tastes bad, I, I might eliminate you. Woo! This is so fun. Everyone likes it when you get a oh. bite. <laughs> that looks like cookie dough. This looks like tortilla dough. I've never made pancakes before, so... Jazz, I'm just going to follow everything you do. And then now, we mix. Wait, why? Is it so goopy? Someone's not making their batter right. First person to make a pancake wins. What on earth is this? I think I'm gonna have to give it to Mackenzie's. Yes! All right, Mackenzie, here's what's gonna happen. Choose someone over here. They're not gonna be able to use their phone the entire day. What? Why me? This is a ripoff. <laughs> Check this out, look. We just mix this perfect batter. There's a little bit of bubbling on the top, but that's completely normal once we add the water. And we're mixing it just so much that, you know, sometimes you can't help a little bubbling. <laughs> Ew, that's like cottage cheese. No, it's not, it's freaking pancake mix. Zach's gonna come back and be like, Jake, you have nothing done. Jake, you literally have nothing done though. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're making a cat. No, I'm not actually. It's not like Great a specific of... thing. Oh. Now let's revisit this in an hour, see if you still have the same idea. Okay. Jake literally loses every time because of time. How are you gonna actually finish <laughs> yeah. this time? Well, this time around, I think Mackenzie might try to cost me the entire thing. What? So I'm putting the blame on her. Yeah, I'll finish, don't worry, this, I'll finish this one. Michelle, what are you making? Have you heard of construction? What? Well, I'm making construction. So I'm gonna make tiny little oh. pancakes like this and Ooh. stack it. Okay, that's that's very cool. I, I asked you what you were making and you said pan structure. Oh yeah, a minion. Oh wow, Ben, one in each hand. Ben, what are you making? I'm gonna do a little mushroom family. Jazz, what's your plan? Um, I wanna make a I very know. colorful peacock. I don't know how I'm gonna make it look realistic, but I think I'll do more of a cartoon effect. My original idea of doing the Japanese architecture was not turning out, so I decided to actually change it to a Chinese dragon. <laughs> Y'all better stop! <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, 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 that was really Y'all better, better stop, stop right now! Boys and girls, you have five minutes to make a Dax logo and I'll judge it afterwards. Winner gets to pour maple syrup down two people's pants. Is anyone done cooking? Let's see the flip. Oh wait, no, I already flipped it. Oh, oh, I did it, oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I Backwards. Michelle, is yours done? Mm -hmm. Let's see it. It's flipped already. Pretty good, Ben. Oh, Zach, it's the best one. I'm gonna have to give it to Jake on this one. <laughs> yes, in your face! I'm sorry, Mackenzie. Jake had some colors down. The spikes are also a little nicer. So two people's pants. Oh yeah. Who are you gonna be maple syruping? Um, Mackenzie yeah. and uh, Ben. Yeah. Oh, you know are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've never been so moist before. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! For my oh. next trick, I'm gonna need a volunteer. I volunteer! I'm gonna have Jazz take them off the cap so she can just go like. Stop! <laughs> ben and I should be treated equivalently! Well, he did get half the bottle as well. <laughs> you made uh, me what? <laughs> has three minutes to make a perfect pancake and then, yeah, I'll give you more instructions after that. All right, finish up your pancakes, scoop it up, come with me. You guys are gonna throw your pancake using your spatula, try to get as close to that red X as possible. Whoever's the closest, you get to do something to one of your friends. All right, who's up? Jess, go. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even close, man, get out of here. Oh! Oh no, okay. Jake, you win. So Jake, you get to pour flour over two of your friends. 
to make this fair, I'm gonna let each of you guys present your case on why you shouldn't get flowers. I'm a girl, I have many crevices and winners divide and conquer. So you wanna split it up? Wait, I don't wanna be your enemy and I've been flowered before and it was not fun. I don't even care, it's been a long day. <laughs> yes! Don't you f flower me. Tell me who's gonna get flowered for sure. <laughs> <Michelle>. <laughs> <laughs> go over there, get ready to get flowered. So I think Ben, yeah, you're safe. Alright, Jazz, go over there! Oh my god! <laughs> you look like an old lady. Yeah. This actually feels quite soothing. <laughs> uh, okay, that's my cue. I'm done. <laughs> All right, you have three minutes to make a pancake, and I'm gonna choose the prettiest one. All right, Jazz, let me take a look. It's a little heart. All right, a purple heart. Mine's a, a red circle. Michelle, what about yours? A cute little pancake. Oh, that's a very round pancake. <laughs> so in that three minutes, you did that. I'm gonna have to give it to Mackenzie. We really? What? Mackenzie, for winning that challenge, you get to pour maple syrup on someone and they're hurt. I feel like I know who it is. I knew it. Any final Well, what are you, what is even going on? Zach says I'll usually win if I finish my art, but every time I do finish, it just gets destroyed. I hope he'll forgive me. Three, two, one, time's up. All right, let's start over here. What do we have, Mackenzie? A Chinese dragon. Okay. I also put my signature here. He's got little claws, like his front feet and back feet and like little 3D whisker thingies and also like three-dimensional little spiky thingies and his tail. I really like the touch with the signature. Overall, I'd say very, very nice piece. Thank you. Good job, Mackenzie. Jake. Tell me about your piece. Since I didn't have my phone, I had to do something without a reference, so I kind of just created a frog mech character. He has lasers coming out from his right arm, and he has fireballs coming out from his left arm. Not gonna lie, I, I feel like you did a really good job with the shadows and detail. I'm actually pretty impressed. Jake. I think you finished on time. All right, so as a kid, I always got popsicles. They had a really pretty image on the front. I would pull out the popsicle and it's the ugliest thing ever. <laughs> this is the popsicle I got. <laughs> I mean, so rude. So you can see a lot of snow in the background because this munchy tower is high up in the mountain. Munchy tower. This is how they worship my munchie. Michelle, not gonna lie, still reminds me of the traumatic popsicles from my childhood. <laughs> Good job. Ben. I made a little mushroom family. From left to right, we have Tyler, Tivo, <laughs> Toby, Thompson, Thomas. and the big fat one is great. I do think it's quite nice. I, I'm curious why you didn't go for like a background, because because if I were to remake this piece, I would have stacked them together, but I would have made some like grass or something just to bring the piece together, because right now it kind of looks like a ton of stuff like stacked randomly on top of each other. I thought of that, but I just didn't do it. <laughs> so you're telling me you got lazy. No, I tried my hardest. I spent the first hour trying to figure out how to make batter. It literally says like add water or something. This is my groovy peacock Jonas. Ta-da! Yeah, he's like 3D, three-dimensional. I wanted to make it very vibrant. I would say I really like the patterns on it. I, I feel like it really pops in, and it gives it kind of a trippy look. But overall, very nice piece. Uh, okay. There's a random mushroom. Okay. No, that's what he ate in order to become colorful. Well, good job, Jess. <laughs> what I didn't tell you was, obviously, these are pancakes, so they need to be edible, which is why I brought my bodyguard and assistant, Mar. You're gonna eat a tiny piece out of everyone's piece, and you are gonna be rating it out of 10. 10 being best pancake of your life, zero being it pretty much tastes like tomatoes. Uh, <laughs> it basically tastes like tomatoes. Edible. I'll give you like a baseline, we'll start with like five. Take a small piece of Ben's. Look how hard this is. It's like a cracker. <laughs> I spent the first hour trying to figure out how to make batter. <laughs> I'll give it a six. I think it'd be jazz. Okay, cool. So, wait, uh, or, or maybe Mackenzie helped him by adding some syrup. Yes. 
Oh yeah, that's amazing, Jay. You're <laughs> flattering me way too much. Hmm, <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> uh, what? I think jazz is better than yours, so good for. Thanks, Mark. I had him taste test it because I was too scared to. And also what I didn't tell my friends is that their taste score actually determines the order they're gonna be judged in. So Ben, since you're the lowest, we're gonna do sudden death rounds with my subscribers. Jake, you're automatically in the finals. Yay! We put Ben's up against Mackenzie's for Mead to decide. Ben, do you think you're winning this? No, I think Mackenzie's winning. <laughs> and Ben is correct! Good job, Mackenzie! Yay! And you guys are probably confused as to why I didn't tell you guys a punishment at the start of the video. Well, that's because they're getting punished on the spot. So each time someone gets eliminated, you get punished right away. Oh! <laughs> All right, Ben, you're eliminated. <laughs> I would think so. All right, for our next subscriber, I asked Shean which one she liked better, the dragon or the peacock. Yeah. Mackenzie, you move on to the next round. <laughs> Open white, Jazz! <laughs> okay! <laughs> All right, give it up for Jazz! I'm a bit disappointed, but my art's only getting better. It's only up from here. So I asked my subscriber, Marco, heart your favorite one, and I am waiting for a reply. All right, and I was correct. <laughs> Down! I think so. All right, Lila has decided. Are you guys ready? No. Do you guys know who's getting syrup? <laughs> no. Actually, I lied. You're not getting the syrup. For the final round, we will do it over there with buckets of syrup. Come with me. What? Well, they don't know this, but as they got eliminated, the punishment actually got larger. So the second to last person is going to take a very big L. Whichever one of you loses gets two buckets of maple syrup. And the winner of our annual pancake art challenge, Jay! Yeah! Go! Go! Oh! Now that we're done with that, let's go to the next challenge. In this video, we will be making art out of a ton of cheese. Every time somebody watches this video, I will give you a tenth of a penny. There's so much on the line! You guys will have six hours to make art out of cheese. Whoever has the best art wins all the money for every person that watches this video. Sounds good. That was a good one, Michelle. I like that. Your six hours begins now. There is a lot on the line today. They have the potential to win a grand, 10 grand, 100 grand. I think everyone's gonna be very competitive. This is gonna be insane. I'm really afraid of doing this cheese art because once I do something, I have to continue on with it. Well, I need you guys to watch this video as much as you can because uh, I need that money. I'm trying to think of a cheese joke. That is nacho cheese. That is nacho money. Oh, I thought of it. The winner gets a lot of cheddar. And this cheese is nasty and smelly and I don't like it. Pretty sure I'm the person who came up with the idea to do cheese art. Are you nervous at all? Yeah, I'm really nervous. And I also feel like I have the entire state of Wisconsin, aka my homeland, aka cheese headland, resting on my shoulders. Now if Mackenzie loses, everyone's gonna call her a fraud. Michelle, do you know what you're gonna make it? I don't know, I wanna do an animal though. For all of you viewers watching that wanna do this, while some of the artists were struggling, some got straight to work. Right now, I'm just trying to take away as much excess of this cheese. This is the best way to do it without it being as crumbly. If this video gets as much as the most viewed video on YouTube, Baby Shark, you guys will get $12 million for winning. 12 million? Wake up, watch the cheese video. Go to bed, watch the cheese video. Please watch the video, please. Okay. <gasps> please That's watch the video, please. <laughs> With tens of thousands of dollars on the line, you guys might be wondering where Ben is. Well, if he eats cheese, he dies. <laughs> Instead of competing, I will let you bet on one person. So if you bet correctly, I will give you one one hundredth of a penny for every person that clicks on this video. Free money, I'll take it. Jake, what are you making? Oh. If Jake could make that, he would win. Michelle? No. Nope. Okay, David? Ben, what about Alan? Think of an idea, Alan. You know, turkey, bun bun. I told Michelle to make a block of cheese. David? I'm making an owl. Mackenzie already got started. She has more done than anyone. And it looks like Ben has made his decision. I'm gonna re regret this. I choose Jake. Okay, just a reminder for what's on the line, Jake, if you win, you get a tenth of a penny for every person that clicks on this video. And Ben, you get one one hundredth of a penny for every person that clicks on this video. If you lose today, you're not getting a ride home. Whoa! <laughs> There's gonna be no curse on the person I bet on. Oh, like a specific someone. I would have bet on Ken. Mackenzie, did you hear that? David just bet on you. No! Oh, David, why would you say that? I'm going to attempt to make 
predator out of cheese. So I have no choice but to make good because I'm winning this challenge. There's no pressure, Jake. Don't worry about it. I think I'm gonna make a really magical owl out of the cheese. I have a reference photo right here. This cheese is a giant cluster of curds and it's just crumbling. My cheese is not good! To heat up the wine. Ooh, mine is so good. Wait, why is your cheese yeah, so much it, better? It, you cut it so smoothly. I think it's just skill. Go back to disappointing your motherland. David's cheese is clearly superior cheese. Stop making excuses for how bad you are at this. I know there's a lot on the line, but at the end of the day, we're still friends, right? No. No. Let the challenge begin. It already did, and you've done nothing. Look at Michelle. She is looking for references and inspiration. I don't think she has a clue what she's doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah! My cheese sucks. Does anyone want my nice cheese for some of your winnings? <laughs> Just give me a moment. I need to test some things out. Bruh. It's because you went upwards. <laughs> switched from the big block to this little block and it is so, 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 so much better. And I have a feeling that everyone's gonna kinda end up doing the same. Look at this. Okay, I used my cheat skill. This video is going horribly wrong. I had such a good plan too. Looks like everyone's using a smaller block of cheese. There's no point in doing a big cheese if everyone's doing a small one. Is nobody going with a big block of cheese? No, it's too hard. Wait, David, I thought your big block was really good. It was good and then it wasn't. Everyone, we have our first mini challenge. Grab a sheet of paper. Here you go. You guys each get a pen. You will have 30 seconds to write down as many cheese names as possible. The winner gets to give two other people punishments. You will have 30 seconds starting now. As many cheese names as you can. It's getting really intense in here. Nobody's talking. I wonder who knows the most cheese. I'll just I say off the top of my head what I know in case you guys want to write it down. Cheddar, Swiss, Parmesan, Gouda, blue cheese. Is that 30 seconds? Oh, 30 seconds is up. Everyone stop, what are you doing? Let me see. Mackenzie has eight cheeses. Six, seven, eight, nine. Michelle, you have one, two, three, eight, nine. Oh God, Jake, you only have seven. Let's go! Yeah! Since Michelle and David both named nine cheeses, we did a tiebreaker to see who won. David. Feta. Free. Monster. American. Holy Jack. Cheddar. Limburger. Swiss. Propolo. Mozzarella. Gorgonzola. Monster. I already said that. No! Oh! You get to choose two people, and they need to stand in nacho cheese for 15 minutes. <laughs> Jake? What? No! Mackenzie's oh. so far ahead! Ah! I have to do you, I'm sorry. All right, Jake, <laughs> Mackenzie. Wait, for you the, chose me? For the next 15 minutes, you guys have to stand in nacho cheese. Which also reminds me, the losers of this challenge will turn into human tortilla chips, and you guys will dunk your heads in nacho cheese. Oh, oh God. no. Go ahead and stand in your cheese. David just made two enemies, I believe. Better watch out. And this punishment is especially devastating for Jake because we're already an hour in, and he literally only has three blocks of untouched cheese. Ben, you have a lot on the line. Your partner. Jake is grinding. Clearly. <laughs> My feet are gonna be yellow after this. Oh no! Oh god, it's so seeping. At 4.48, you guys are done. There are definitely some people that like cheese this much, and I'm not one of them. Me either. I wasn't gonna send Michelle into the cheese. She's a queen. How much would you give me to suck the cheese off your toes? That's disgusting. Would I give you? I'm yeah. not begging you to do that. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to suck the cheese off the toes. Jake should have had double cheese. I feel really bad that I had to do that to Kenzie because I love Kenzie. The cheese is seeping through my skin. It's seeping through your skin? By the end of this, Jake and Mackenzie are gonna be 2% cheese. Oh no, I'm leaking cheese. Still have no idea what to make. I tried doing an Eiffel Tower, but I really don't like what it looks like. I'm getting so frustrated. Okay, we're finally done. Oh my oh, god. we're done. Sorry. Oh, yeah, just, okay. Uh, okay. Oh! <laughs> Don't film me, I'm picking out my toe cheese. After Jake and Mackenzie stood in cheese, everyone went back to work and it looks like David took advantage and made a lot of progress. I'm gonna try to make the owl body and the owl face. If I have time at the end, I'll add details and like wings and all that fun stuff. Which means Jake and Mackenzie are falling pretty far behind. Because I've really scaled back on the size of my piece, I really am trying to make sure that I add as much detail as possible. And surprisingly, Michelle is also very far behind, even though she didn't get punished. Zach is really into architecture, so I'm afraid that he'll look at my piece and be like, ew.
I don't have much done right now. Hopefully I can work pretty fast. Working with cheese is a lot more difficult than we thought, so I let them grind for two hours straight. But now that we're halfway through the competition, it's time to introduce the next challenge. We are officially a little bit more than halfway through. I know you guys are eager for another challenge, so we are about to play cheese darts. So this cheese square is your dart, and the X is your target. Whoever gets closest gets to punish two other players. A lot is on the line here. Are you ready? Yeah. Ah! You get another try. No! Three's the max. The ah! oh. Okay, Mich that's Michelle's cheese. That was terrible. Can I go underhand? No! Here, that hit the thing. I do think Michelle's is closer right now. Okay. <laughs> that counts! Does it really? Yeah, the, the first time it hit the whiteboard. No! Oh, it got right here. All right, Michelle, it looks like yours was the closest. Michelle, you won. Here is your advantage. You get to choose two people at different times and they have to help you for 20 minutes. Okay. Everybody's cheese art looks so good. It doesn't even matter who I choose. I'll get some great help either way. I choose Jay. What? No, Michelle, don't do <laughs> so this to me. This is so good and I want it on my piece. What do you mean? I want your hat. Go to town, Jake. Got this, Jake. You want to do the back side and I do this side? So like, I work like this, and then you work like that. Okay. Jake is now helping Michelle for the next 20 minutes. The only problem is Jake doesn't have much done for his piece. I think I'm getting the hang of how the cheese works. However, also everyone else's stuff looks really good too. So it's definitely going to be a close challenge today. It's been 20 minutes. I can finally get back to work. I have a lot to do. I hope there's another challenge so I can get more advantages. So one more person to choose. That was a close call. I was about to take another step forward and there's a wire caught between my legs. This whole place would have came crashing down. Let's take a look at everyone's art. I'm very behind. Ooh, I like it, Jake. If there's any way you can roll it up, kind of like how David's doing and like stick it on, that will create really nice textures. I agree. Michelle, what did Jake help with? He did this side. Are you going to add any like background stuff like that? David said to do some trees in a pathway, so I might just that do would that be cool. on the board. Holy cheese, David. Look at my log. I think this might be your best piece I've seen from you so far. Are you going to add any more like textures and details to the horse's face? The thing is, is horses really don't have a lot of like, their texture is very fine. So it's hard to do with cheese. You could even give it like those like straps and stuff. Oh, I mean, yeah, 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 I mean yeah. that just adds a little bit of yeah, detail. Okay, and... good, good job. After talking to all the contestants, it seems like everyone's in a good spot and they're all feeling good. But little do they know, there is a plot twist coming. For this next challenge, I'm gonna need each of you to take a whiteboard, a marker, and a blindfold. We are gonna test you guys today to see how well you know your cheeses. Let's bring out the cheese taste test. Oh no! Everyone put your blindfold on. Here's the first one. <laughs> Shall I take one? Have you? No idea. No, no, no. Um. You guys can take your blindfold off and write it down. The winner of this challenge wins probably our biggest advantage yet. Did anyone hear that? The biggest advantage yet. Ah! No. no. That's more like it. Mackenzie, what's your guess? Smoked cheddar. Holy stuff. Smoked gouda. Provolone. It was gouda. All right, everyone, blindfold back on. Mackenzie, we'll start with you. Oh my god. <laughs> no. 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 Um. All right, write down your guesses. Jake. <laughs> Swiss. Brie. Go. Brie. It was Brie cheese. Yeah! Michelle, you're at two oh. points. Mackenzie, you're at one. Blindfold's back on. Oh my god. Yes. What the? <laughs> write down your answers. Let's see if anybody can beat Michelle out. What did you get? Mozzarella. 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 Well, it is mozzarella, which means Yay! Michelle, you win! Yay! Do you want to hear your advantage? Yeah. You get to snack on anyone's piece. Take one bite. Oh my god. There is nothing I want more in this world than for Michelle to not take a bite out of my cheese. Oh, Mackenzie, that looks really good. Yeah. Shut up, Zachary. Pick his. I'm literally looking at Mackenzie's. No, Michelle, no! He's Jake's, he's not gonna finish anyway. I'm not, what are you talking about? I can help no, you and no, I'll, I'll make sure you win. You should make a decision in your head. Don't tell them and just go to one of them and fight it. I need them to stand back. Please don't Michelle, eat my heart. Michelle, I will help Michelle, you. I will give I you the best you, 20 minutes of your life. Luckily for them, Michelle's very petite. She has a small head, small mouth. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I'm super happy that Michelle said she's not gonna bite my piece. I can just relax and everybody else is going crazy. Oh God, no! Michelle, you're a goddess. No! Could be real bad. Yeah. I feel like right 
here would be the easiest to. No, Michelle, don't do it. I really, really like your log. And I didn't make you walk on cheese. I didn't make you walk on cheese either. But you did pop my balloon. Oh. oh. Because you destroyed oh. my Walmart. All right, David and Mackenzie, give your final reason why she shouldn't buy yours, okay. and then Michelle, okay, you okay. got a decision to make. Okay. I'll buy you sushi. No, I'll buy you sushi. You're going to take the show. Oh. <laughs> No, no, Michelle, don't do it! Don't do it, Michelle! It looks like a piranha horse! It's a zombie horse! Rest in peace, Mackenzie's horse! That was insane. Mackenzie is desperately trying to build her piece back up, but unfortunately for her, we're about to start our next challenge. All right, everyone, I have four pens. Close your eyes and choose one. The pens just picks your team. Mackenzie's on my team. David and Jake, you two are teammates. Girls versus guys. This lady just sabotaged my art, and I'm supposed to be her teammate? Come with me outside for the challenge. Right, everyone stand across from your partners. Michelle, here is a cheese balloon. Jake, here is a cheese balloon. How this is gonna work is you guys will toss back and forth. Each time, you will step further back. First team to drop it gets 20 minutes taken off from the rest of their time, which is more than half of the time remaining. Are you ready? Let's go. Step back here. Toss. Step back. Nice, Michelle, oh, nice. nice. All right, we're gonna start alternating, so we go one at a time. Jake, toss. <laughs> Mackenzie, toss. <laughs> toss. Michelle, toss. Oh! All right, step back. Michelle, are you ready? Yeah. Toss. Come on, Michelle. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> David, you need to make this toss. Oh. I think we made a good team. Well, Mackenzie, Michelle, I would interview you guys right now, but you have 15 minutes left. Oh, yeah, okay. Michelle only has 15 minutes left, but luckily for her, she still has her advantage where she gets to grab someone's help for the rest of the time. Thankfully, I still have David for another 10 minutes. So let's finish my piece. Once me and David got paired together, I thought we probably would win the toss. I've gotten the majority of my piece done, so I'm not too worried, but I do want to do some finishing details. I think you recovered from it. It's a little rough, but I think it looks fine. David, it looks like your owl is gonna fall over. I know, I put the solutions up there. I'm gonna fix them. If I were you, maybe get a couple of the wood textures over here too. Okay. It'll make for like a very complete piece. Just in case you forgot, the winner of this video will get a tenth of a penny for every single person that watches this video. I'm actually really nervous to see who wins. This is pretty big. Also, I wanna see the losers get cheesed. You know what, I believe in Jake. Jake does his best work in the last 20 minutes of every challenge. Mackenzie, Michelle, three minute warning. Three. Two, one. Your time is up. Yep. I think I have a really good chance of winning. My L looks really good. Jake, I believe in you. I can maybe, maybe win. Three, two, one. Jake, David, time's up. Jake, why don't you tell me about your piece? Well, my piece is Predator. Excuse you, Michelle. Sorry, I had cheese. I referenced Predator from a movie, and I thought I got some of the details pretty good, like the mouth. The mouth is really, really cool. I can see all like the teeth. I can see like the, the throat things. The little pincers are very cool. If you win this challenge, what will you spend your cheddar on? Rent. How responsible, Jake. Michelle. I did the Eiffel Tower. There's like a nacho cheese river and some trees and some bushes. I feel like the river is a really cool touch. Yeah, David gave me the idea. Your Eiffel Tower is leaning a little bit. The leaning tower of Eiffel. Very nice, Michelle. David. Hi. Tell me about it. So this is my magical forest owl, and I wanted to do lots of different textures and feathers, and I made him sitting on a log, and I love him. This is really impressive with all the feathers. And the log really looks like a log. I, I am very impressed, David. Thank you. And I'd say this is your best Thank piece you. from the Thank video you. so far. All right, Mackenzie. I just want to um, preface that my piece fell over about two seconds after we wrapped everything. Dude, I'm pretty sure Connor cheats. <laughs> what? Oh my god. What happened? You're talking and then she goes, oh! And then it falls. I made a horse on a little pedestal. It could also be a night piece. Oh, I see. Very nice. Thank you. I feel like I can tell the snout is a little bit softer, but I think you recovered from it. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It's one of your better pieces. 
So one person is gonna make it to the finals by a small group of subscriber votes. And David, since yours is my favorite piece, you're going to the finals. Oh my. And to determine which other piece goes to the finals, I'm going to let my subscribers decide. First person to five votes moves on. So the first person voted for Mackenzie. No. Second vote goes to Mackenzie again. No. Third vote goes to Mackenzie. No. Fourth vote also goes to Mackenzie. I feel like we have a unanimous winner here. I need to DM one more person. This vote goes to Jake. Mackenzie. Thank you guys. Okay. You guys don't have to watch the video anymore. Click out. David, Mackenzie, I will let you guys decide where the vote goes. I can do it on my Instagram or my Twitter. Let's do Instagram. You guys want to do Instagram? Instagram? All right. Instagram it is. I'm nervous. I need this to reclaim my Wisconsin heritage that David is trying to steal from good. me. You could go either way. At the moment, it is 50-50. Oh, frick. I feel like the final boss, and I think I might have a chance at winning against Kenzie. Jake, Michelle, gather in. I have the results. Do you guys remember what's on the line? And my Wisconsin heritage. Yes. For every single person that clicks on this video, I will give whichever one of you wins one-tenth of a penny, which adds up when people click a lot. Click off. Don't click off. I'm about to announce the oh, results. Yeah, they'll, they'll actually click off. The winner is, can you guys give me like a super dramatic drum roll? Editors, put some like super dramatic music. We need to, My okay. thing's gonna fall oh, over. Oh, it's, it's getting ruined. Oh, oh, all right. And the winner is... David! Woo! With 63% of the vote. My broken head! All right, let's move on to our next competition. I bought 1,000 bananas. <laughs> Jake's going bananas. We have five artists and 1,000 bananas. You have four hours to make the best banana art possible. As you can see, they have t-shirts. Each one of them says, my mom is the mm. Which means, if you win, you win up to five grand for your mom. <laughs> Michelle, you already started eating your art. This is bananas! Four hours, begin. Bananas have a very snake-like shape, so I'm gonna sculpt a snake. So I will be sculpting a snake. Okay. <laughs> the first thing I think of when I think of bananas is a monkey. I'm gonna do a gorilla. May the best monkey gorilla win. Wait, guys, I think Zach's coming. Zach's coming? Mackenzie, so what are you planning on doing with your banana sculpture? I'm not really sure yet. I'm testing out some different techniques right now. Izzy! I'm sorry. Oh, looks like you got a circle going on here. What's your plan? Well, I'm making a snake. And you're just gonna be making the snake's body out of the banana with the peel? Yeah, I think so. Well, I look forward to seeing it. Michelle, what are you planning on doing? I'm gonna make a monkey. You can do it really good, Michelle. You can try it. <laughs> Jake, seems like you have nothing done. What are you up to? I'm gonna start off by sculpting a gorilla out of bananas using three bananas. You're the slowest artist on the team. I don't know if you're gonna have time. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. I didn't know that. Viviana. Yes. What are you up to? I'm making a stand for my banana. You should get back to work. What are you talking about? I'm Jake. Artists, keep working, and I'll be back soon enough from the doctor. Bye. Artists, we have our first challenge. Okay. The first artist to eat a banana gets an advantage. Go. Wait, what? Oh, let's go. All right, Michelle, done. I almost choked. <laughs> Michelle, since you finished eating your banana first, you get to choose one artist to wear a Minecraft costume for the entire competition. Hmm. Hmm. Have you worn it yet, Jake? What? <laughs> My name is Zach. Have you worn it yet, Jake? No. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy. Oh, no. Why? Why? Izzy. Why? Because you look like you know what you're doing. You have to wear this for the rest of the challenge. <laughs> Back to work. Sorry guys, I was at the doctor, but something important, I'm okay. Guys, I'm so done with my mouth. Mackenzie, what are you working on? A Loch Ness Monster. What's the plan here? If I have time, like some waves and stuff, and then I'll make another one coming out, and then with its head. That's cool. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Izzy. Hi. Tell me what you're making. So I'm making a 
to make. I want to make it pretty realistic, so I'm going with the scale Ooh, texture. Can I see it? This literally looks like a snake's body. I I'm not joking. <laughs> Michelle, what is this? I'm doing a monkey. Michelle, it looks nasty. It's so a monkey. Uh -uh. Jake, what's? I'm making a gorilla right now. I am not confident. <laughs> well, that's a nice gorilla face you got so far, Jake. Keep believing. All right, Viv, what's the plan here? I am making the base for my giraffe. We're like almost two hours in. You don't have any banana thing done. I was working on this, but it didn't work out. How big is your giraffe going to be like? This I want to make it big. big. That big? Yeah, bananas are slippery, so this is going to be difficult. Guys, there is also a losing punishment. Whoever loses this competition has to run a timed mile. The bottom two have an additional punishment. So let's see who can eat a banana the fastest. Go! Go! Shoot, I wasn't ready! You guys gotta get your potassium in. All right, good job, Izzy. I would high five you, but your hands look kind of gross from the banana. All right, Michelle, you were second. Viv, eat it, eat it. Just shove it in your mouth. I'm done. Viviana. All right, Izzy, since you have this Minecraft costume, I'll give you two options. One, pass the Minecraft costume on to someone else. Two, grab someone to help you for the next 30 minutes. I'm gonna have someone help me for 30 minutes. Who's gonna be helping you? Ooh. Because Michelle, if you want, you could choose someone to help you for 15 minutes. Hey. All right, Jake, go help Michelle for 15 minutes. You know why I'm here, Viv? I have no clue how you're going to do this, but before you can continue on your project, you have to peel three bananas with your feet. What? <laughs> Peel a banana and hand me a perfect inside. Wins. I think Michelle got it. Ew. Wait, I'm not supposed to eat with this. Yeah. Michelle, you win this tool. Okay. You can carefully stab it into someone's art. Dude, Jake, I swear, dude, Jake. This is so much more detail. Who's like, what? Who's asking you for your opinion? I'm about to quit this challenge. I'm sorry, Jake. Right after I'm this, sorry, Jake. Right after I'm, this sorry. I'm stopping the challenge. I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry. Just do it. I'm going to stop repeating. On the bright side, you said you were gonna do some other animals. Now's your chance to start another animal. I have no time to do any other animals like that. You're gonna have to do something you've never done before. Work fast. I don't know what I will be doing in the next hour and a half. This will be my last vlog. Goodbye. <laughs> Babe, I don't see the giraffe. What do you mean? I'm gonna sculpt. Fun fact, bananas used to be my least favorite fruit and now it's my favorite. He has literally like a couple bananas in Okay. No, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying it's a very inspiring story. Two minutes left. My RT looks yeah. like. <laughs> Bye! I'm just hoping not to get left. This flies all over my banana sculpture. I don't think I'm gonna finish. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. All right, good job, everyone. All right, guys, get these bananas out of here and let's see your art. And just so you guys know, these bananas aren't going to waste. We're going to donate them to a food shelter so people can put them to good use. Viv, we are going to start with you today. Tell me about your giraffe. I made a big giraffe with tiny humans on a bench. My thought process was I had no idea what I wanted to make, so I just let my creativity run. I added texture, nostrils, eyeballs, ears. So I really like the texture you did on the skin, and, and not gonna lie, it actually turned out kind of looking like a giraffe. Yeah, it is a giraffe. I wish you covered up the, the bananas up here with something. Because I do see the, the Jenga look. I know. Is that it? Jake, at four hours, why is your banana so small? Jake, we bought 1,000 bananas in your final art piece and one. Tell me about your single banana. Well, my single banana is an alien type aquatic creature. He's got a lot of spines coming up the back, gills, some sharp teeth, some claws. Oh my goodness, there are fruit flies flying everywhere. Fans, please. <laughs> please go away. Thank you. That's actually really detailed. I'm pretty impressed, Jake. I wish I could see the rest of the creature, though. Nice recovery, Jake. Munchie. 
I also let my imagination run wild. And it sprinted. <laughs> Joe's imagination just took off. I made a cute little monkey, a squid couple. They're very strong. This is their dumbbell. What happened to this challenge? This was a really hard challenge. Bananas are bushy. Let's hope next time you have a comeback. <laughs> okay, Izzy. Hi. Tell me about your piece. This is an eyelash pit viper. Ooh. Very venomous. So that was my kind of like my goal. I wanted to make it really textured and I cut scales into every part, found the exact right banana so they all kind of fit together and made this curving shape because not all bananas are the same. Some are curved and some are straight. They do come in all shapes and sizes. True. Yes, they do. I gave them some eyelashes, a scary face, and then I added a few little bananas as little rocks. I love the texture of the scales. I like the background you gave it. I, I wish the head would like attach to the body. I know, it was really, really hard. I'm surprised you got all of it done, honestly. The, the only thing is I wish the head was attached. Very nice, Izzy. All right, Mackenzie, tell me about yours. This is a sea serpent, and these are harpoons. Let's go ahead and start judging Michelle, you're out. Viv, I'm going to have to eliminate you. I'm sorry. Here's how we're gonna do this. Mackenzie, Izzy, Jake, choose someone. You guys, talk about it together. I'm not gonna say what this is for. Choose someone. Well, I'll just go ahead and vote for myself. I'll vote for Jake. Yeah, then sure. Like... Jake? Yeah. yeah. All right, Jake, you're in the finals. What? Mackenzie, Izzy, take a picture. I just DM'd underscore the underscore sassy underscore girl underscore. Which one is your favorite? The sea serpent or the pit viper? Let's give sassy girl some space. Sassy girl has a winner. The person going to the finale is... Izzy! <laughs> I asked Henry, do you like the alien or the viper? Yeah, the winner. <laughs> oh my god, right? And the winner of this challenge is... Sugar Canal! Izzy! Oh. Oh. The winner! Yeah. <laughs> Mom, you're gonna fall around! Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. Transition into the next challenge. We have four contestants and a ton of oranges. Yeah. Winner wins up to five grand for their biggest fan. Woo! My biggest fan's gonna be so disappointed today. Can someone touch the timer? It'll start once you touch it. <laughs> the time has officially begun. There was a lot on the line. Your biggest fans will thank you. Orange art, we must be running out of ideas. We have made art out of crazy things like watermelon, chocolate, apples, bananas, but I think oranges are going to put their skills to the test. I'm really curious to see what they make. Orange art seems really hard, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna win today. You know what you're making, Michelle? Since so the orange has like a really rough texture, maybe a snake. That might be cool. Wait, how'd you peel it already? Michelle has I deadly have nails. I have built-in knives. I also probably should have given a safety talk. Should I be given a knife? Probably not. I have a knife. Everybody go grab your knife from the side. Everybody make sure you go Go grab your knife over on that table. I don't know what's happening. What are you making, Ben? Today, I'm gonna make something I've never made before. I'm gonna make an orca whale. Oh no, the world's gonna end. Ben's not making a dragon. Also, you guys, to find out who your biggest fan is, I'm gonna look for comments about you guys. So if you guys comment about Michelle a lot, you can be one of Michelle's biggest fans, and if she wins, you might win too. If you're the biggest fan of Jake, and you comment about Jake a lot, we will see it. Who's my biggest fan? Is it you? I'm gonna win for my biggest fan. No, she's not. I have no fans. My my station already so messy. Do you see how they do it? What do you mean how they do it? Michelle's trying to get free ideas from me. Oh, you're doing an outline of a goldfish? That is boring. Can you literally just shut up? First challenge, rules are very simple. Peel an orange. First person to give me a perfect inside wins. Yep. The winner of this challenge is going to get a huge advantage. Oh my God, these oranges are hard to do. If you're done, raise it up. I'll come over and take a look. It can't have any peel on it. Done. Oh, very nice, Jake. Here is your advantage. You get to choose two people. One of them is gonna help you for 15 minutes. The other person has to spin around for five minutes. Mackenzie peeled hers the fastest, so I want you to just peel as many oranges for me as you can. Would you like surgical precision or just regular precision? As best as you can. Okay, we'll do the surgical. Well, one of you is spinning. I really liked you when you had your mustache. I think it looked beautiful and I think you look beautiful now. Thank you. I think. You're beautiful. I didn't sense any truth to that. You know what, Michelle, spin. <laughs> yes! No! <laughs> Go spin for five minutes. You can't even tell if I'm spinning, can you? 
Michelle Army, please. I had to choose one of them, and it just happened to be Michelle. Everything I said about Jake's mustache was a lie. He looks ugly. Oh. I have a headache from spinning. I have to help Jake for 15 minutes, which is not that bad. I feel like I'll be able to get my project done pretty fast, so I'm not worried about running low on time. Most of this art is being done using the peels, so we're gonna put all these little fruits. We're either gonna eat it or we're gonna donate it. We'll be keeping these. Make sure you wash your hands and keep these nice and secure. I'm done at 37, Jake. Okay, I believe you. So far, I think everyone's off to a good start. Michelle is making great progress on her snake. Ben is moving really fast with his orca. Jake has a beautiful chameleon eye, and Mackenzie, well, She's the crafts queen. I can't wait to see everyone's final pieces. All right, I gotta massage the orange. I cracked the orange. What are you making? A chameleon. Michelle, what are you making? A uh, snake. Maybe this is a sign I should do a dragon if everyone's seen an animal. I am loving my snake right now. I'm getting the outline and it looks pretty good. I think this is a chameleon eye and it looks like a chameleon eye. I'm happy that we're doing a food challenge where the food is actually like healthy. So, you know, unlike the candy art video where I was feeling very guilty. I'm just really using my X-Acto knife to carve out the pieces that I want. Everyone, there is also gonna be one more perk for winning this challenge. So if you lose this challenge, you need to make fresh squeezed orange juice for the winner. No! Eh, that's not so bad. Yeah, we have a lot of leftover oranges, and I figured I might as well make a nice cup of orange juice for whoever wins. Guys, for this next challenge, whoever wins will get to choose two contestants to do exercises. That is why I brought out this die. Everyone, come over here. So here's how this is gonna work. We are gonna play orange basketball. As you guys can see there, this is an orange decorated as a basketball. Rules are very simple. You guys have a basket right here. You get three attempts. Behind this line is one point. Here is two points, three points. You guys can choose where you wanna go from. You're up, Mackenzie. I'm pretty sure I'm I'm already gonna lose, so I'm just gonna go from the longest one. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Okay. Woo! I win. Ah. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Well, it looks like you win. Yeah! All right, so you're gonna choose two people again. One person has to multiply any number they land on by 20, and that's how many push-ups they do. And the other person, when they roll this, that's how many times they have to run around the studio. Kenz, do you want to roll to run? Four laps. Okay. Which one of these two beautiful contestants will be doing push-ups today? Ben, yeah. I have to choose you. No, you don't. I have to because if Michelle got 120 push-ups, I would feel pretty bad. All right, Ben, roll the die. I have to. All right, 80 push-ups, Ben. Thanks, Jake. I'll remember this forever. I'm not mad that Jake chose me, so let's get buff. Down, up, one. 30. Time for a break. Jake is making me do the running, which is fine. I'd rather do that than do push-ups, but I will be running in first, so it will be slow. Okay. While Mackenzie runs her laps, let's check in on the pieces. Well, Ben, take a look at the head. This is more pointed at the end. This looks like a turtle. Hey, that looks cool so far. I haven't figured out the face yet, but I'm thinking it'd be pretty easy to just carve out. That looks cool so far, Jake. Thank you. I think you went really big with the eye. Yeah, I did. How on earth are you gonna finish? I don't know, and I... <laughs> This is really hard. I see what you're trying to do with like the line work. Same thing as Jake. How are you gonna get this done? It will be done. This will be interesting. Ben, are you almost done already? Yeah, I think I'm done. Dude, no way you're done. What do you mean? Ben literally gave it his all competing against me and now that I'm not in the competition, Ben's like, okay, I'm done. But obviously, I wanna win for my biggest fan. Ben, you're about to ditch them I and it's not even halfway ben. through. All hell is breaking loose. Since we're winning this for our biggest fan, I'm trying my hardest to win. Every Everyone is frantically trying to figure out what they're doing, and I'm just chilling. So I think I'm gonna go play some basketball with Zach. Hey Zach, you ready to play basketball? Yeah. Jake went to the bathroom like three times already, so he hasn't been around for a long time. Stop blowing your freaking Red Bull breath in my face. I was trying to blow over the gold thing. Mackenzie's trying at least, so she's my biggest competition right now. After working on the orange art for a while, it seemed like Ben got bored, so he asked me to play a game of basketball. We're gonna play a game of DHC. Oh. Oh. They seem like they're having fun. Meanwhile, I'm out here grinding trying to win for my biggest fan. Talk to me, Zach. Talk to me, Zach. <laughs> 
Wait, I didn't get a single letter. Aren't you supposed to give them a challenge? Oh yeah. Everyone, there's around 30 minutes left. I have a mini challenge for you guys. No! Everyone, this will be fun. So here's a challenge. You guys are gonna try to get as many oranges in your hula hoop as possible. At the end, once there's no oranges out here, the person with the least amount of oranges is gonna help the person with the most oranges for 20 minutes, which is like two thirds of the rest of the time. Whoa! You guys cannot steal from other people's hula hoops. Ready, set, go! No, no, I didn't keep on. Oh, okay, Michelle's got quite a few. <laughs> go, 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 go! Oh, oh no! Ben, there's no more! <laughs> Jake! All right, Mackenzie, how many do you have? 16. 21. 9. 24. Jake has 24, so Ben, for the next 20 minutes, you gotta do whatever Jake says. You does. are so lucky. I don't think I would have won that challenge, but I picked up all of Ben's that kept falling out. Jake, you have won every single mini challenge in this video. All right, let's see how these are looking. That's potential if you put some scales on it, I feel. Or maybe, like, you know the white side of this? If you did some, like, lines over here, that could look cool. Oh, Jake, this has potential. Feels I should have just did that. I might have to scratch an idea. I might have to start Start the peels over. Wait, what? Why? I have an idea. Right. Well, now you have Ben. Hey, Michelle, this is not bad. I'm trying really hard. I really want my biggest fan to win money. Mackenzie, for everyone in the comments that are screaming, Bell, Bell, Bell. Do you have a message for them? I'm sorry that I haven't done better. All I have to say is I really tried this video, and just because you finished fast doesn't mean the work isn't good. Yeah, Michelle, just because someone finishes fast doesn't mean it's not good. <laughs> okay, my time is done. Jake, I hope, hopefully. <laughs> Shell's going all out. Yeah, I'm trying my hardest, and even though I might lose. Two minutes and 30 seconds left, and my piece looks exactly the same how it did an hour ago. I'm so sorry to all my Jake fans out there. I got super frustrated because I was running into some problems with the mouth, so I just ruined my entire piece. Three, two, one. All right, everyone, stop what you're doing. Let's take a look at the orange arc. Ben, what do we have here? We have an orca whale. Ben, you were done in like 30 minutes and you just left. I was working on it and I was looking at my reference and I was just like, I think I can finish this in like 10 minutes. Efficient and 110% effort. I feel like if you went larger, you could have added some more detail. At the end of the day, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. I gave this 120% effort. That's not a real number. And I made a cobra snake. It doesn't look bad. The eyebrows look a little scary, but other than that, it's a nice piece. Good job, Michelle. Let's be quick with this. I was looking around just 30 minutes ago and I was thinking to myself, wow, Jake has such a cool chameleon piece. And then now I only see the eye with some stuff around it. To all my fans out there, I'm so sorry if you really cringed when you saw me destroy the chameleon. So I just pivoted and made a evil demon lord. I still think you have a chance to win this. I did really like your chameleon though. I'm sad. I wanted to see the chameleon. Not bad, Jake. Okay, so this is Patricia, and Patricia is a goldfish, and she's blowing bubbles. I like the line work approach you went with. What happened to the fin? Is it supposed to be, like, chopped up? So that's the texture of the fins going. <laughs> All right, well, round of applause. Okay, not gonna lie, guys, I feel like this could be anyone's challenge. So here's how this is gonna work. I am gonna ask subscribers which one is their favorite. First person to five votes wins. The first vote goes to... Michelle! Woo! This next vote goes to Michelle! Woo! The next vote goes to Mackenzie! Woo! Oh, hey, Tom Holland's brother wants to judge, and he says Dolphin is goaded. It's an orca! The next vote goes to Michelle! <laughs> Michelle keeps emoting. No! <laughs> the next vote goes to Mackenzie! The next subscriber votes for the snake one for sure. <laughs> Michelle, you're just one away from winning. The next person votes for <laughs> Michelle, you're the winner! <laughs> yeah! Let's go to the next challenge. Today, we're gonna be making giant latte art. The artist will compete in rounds creating latte art using the topic spun on this wheel. If they win a round, they receive one point. The first artist to two points will win the competition. The winner will receive a lifetime supply of coffee. So for the first round, you will have 20 minutes and your topic is... Building! Oh. No. In the morning, I live off of pre-workout or coffee, so a lifetime supply of coffee, good for me. I don't drink coffee, it gives me poopies. So if you guys look up at the top of our YouTube screen, there's a timer, and it's 
has started. Zach mentioned to me earlier that building was probably gonna be the hardest topic, and I told him my idea, so I'm gonna make something sort of like the Taj Mahal. So buildings are definitely gonna be a tough topic. I personally really like making buildings, but I hate coffee. I tried one tiny sip when I was in middle school. It was the worst thing I've ever tasted. Michelle, how are you doing? I'm gonna do a castle. The first step is to froth. I will put my milk into this little machine here. Is anybody's frother dripping? Because mine's leaking. Mackenzie started like 10 minutes ago apparently with the frothing. I thought after you spun the wheel it was go time. Did I or did I not say go? You didn't say go, she should be disqualified. It looks like everyone's very, very focused right now, so I'm gonna go around and just mess with everyone a little bit. <gasps> don't do it, don't do it. I'm just kidding, I'm not that mean. Ooh, very nice. Would be a shame if I blew on it. Yeah, let's not and say you did. Wait, look at how shaky my hands are. But. Oh, oopsie, I spilled coffee everywhere. Michelle, are you making a mess on my set already? I've been with Michelle for four years, and she is the biggest klutz I know. Can only do no point perspective. You guys are nine minutes in. I know usually I'm the slowest artist, but since we have 20 minutes for each challenge, I'm gonna have to work fast. Nice start. Thank you. Giggity! Nope. Not too bad, going with a safe one point perspective I see. You're gonna finish, you have like five minutes left. Wait, Everyone's buildings look pretty solid, not gonna lie. Which is good, because buildings need to be solid, otherwise they'll crumble to the ground. Michelle is really impressive. So you guys watching on your phone right now are probably seeing some cool shots with epic music, but if you cut the epic music, it's actually dead silent in here. That's what we're all hearing right now. Cut back to the cool music. Even though I don't like coffee that much, I, I still want to win because I usually don't. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, stop what you're doing. All right, Jake, do you want to tell me a little bit about your latte art? I did the Taj Mahal. So I did the main building and then I added obviously shadowing on it. Yeah, yeah, it really does look like the Taj Mahal. I did a spooky witch castle. Ooh, I like that you have a foreground and a background. You've been listening to my instructions. So I wanted to do a really magical, colorful castle, and I wanted to use all my favorite colors, and I added fireflies and tried to give it a lot of depth. I did this building, and there's a little hedge and a fence. That should turn out nicer than I thought. So obviously we're only gonna have one winner this round. Michelle, I think you had a very, very nice one, but I don't think I'm gonna choose yours to win this round. <laughs> Mackenzie, you really impressed me with the building you made, but compared to David and Jake's, I would say it's not quite as complete. <laughs> well, 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 it leaves us with David and Jake. So I think my final decision for me as someone who really loves architecture and buildings, I think I'm gonna have to go with Jake's design. Yes! So good job, Jake, you win round one, which means you get a point. Don't worry, everyone else, there are still gonna be more rounds to come. I I do think latte art is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. So I think I might need a new strategy. I'm happy I won the first round. Was pretty confident, honestly, because I actually finished a piece. My plan is to get a clean sweep, maybe two dubs in a row, and just win this whole competition. I'm not feeling too creative right now, so the transition for this next scene probably isn't gonna be the best. For round number two, I brought on a guest, my friend who really likes coffee. I love coffee. Do you wanna spin the wheel to- Of course I get a top. All right, we're going. Boom! Come on, big money, big money, big money. Big money. Please give them a hard topic. No, no we already no. got building. Dragon! Yeah. We have got a dragon! Yeah. Isaiah, before you start, you are going to judge this round, so is there anything you're looking for specifically? Mm, as much Man. detail as humanly possible, probably, yeah. You guys have 20 minutes, go. I'm doing this. Not so sure how this is gonna turn out, but we'll try. I was thinking they this. <laughs> Goodness, Ben is not in this challenge because he would destroy all of us. Ben, this would have been perfect for you. Of course, the one time the topic is dragging, I'm not in the video. Hey everyone, stop what you're doing. Grab your camera. You can't keep going on in this competition until you bring me a penny. Do you have a penny? I don't carry change. Isaiah, do you have a penny? I don't, I don't have a penny, I'm sorry. No, I don't have a penny. Katie, I need a penny. Penny, please. Do any of you guys have a penny? They should have just asked me. Begging for a penny. <gasps> Oh, nice! Okay, Michelle, you can keep working. All right, all right, all right, very nice. You guys know you could have just asked me, right? I had four pennies in my pocket. I asked what? you! No, you didn't. Nobody ever asks me for pennies. I think the next show, I need to put more color. In the Sharpie art video, my dragon, I thought, came out pretty good. Latte art, though, not so sure. So just to mess with them a little bit, you should shake the table a little. No, no, yeah. don't shake. Oh, oh, my gosh. Gosh. oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh. I trip, I trip. I just found out that whoever wins this competition that I'm judging gets a lifetime supply of coffee for them and their mom. I actually kind of, like why didn't I get to be in this competition? Jake, I don't know, you got some competition over here. Davis is looking quite solid. It looks cute, it looks cute. Okay, Jake. Uh -huh. Okay, Jake. Uh -huh. 
I'm gonna be honest, this coffee art thing isn't that fun. I'm super, super shaky, and these are really, really fine lines that we have to make. Not very good at that. Ooh, David, that looks pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, Michelle's looks really cute. Jake, I would pick it up. No, that don't. Look, it's already bleeding. Stop, hands off. You guys, you have a one minute warning. Jake, for some reason, yours fades a lot faster than anyone else's. I think you're doing it in the brown area too much. You guys mm -hmm. have exactly five, four, three, two, one. Done. All right, there we have it. <laughs> Okay. You know what? I'm putting it over the max line now. Froth was too little this time. But before we begin the judging, I have a twist for this round. If you lose this round, you eat a coffee bean. No! Okay, let's start over here. Why don't you just give me a quick little something about the piece. This round, Isaiah is judging. I will just be spectating. Well, mine is a dragon. It's green. I tried to do scaly textures, and I made the eyes bright yellow to pop. Mm, it's a good looking dragon. My dragon is still hanging in there a little bit. Okay. Magical and green. With it, I added scales and I did this full body and I made them really big. All right, I like it, it looks good. Thank looks you. Good. I also have a magical dragon. It spits fire and shoots floating hearts around itself. I decided to make a orange and green blob for you guys. Yeah, and um, did you know that the assignment was a dragon? I did, but I decided to go a little bit for like, take a creative risk. I hope you like the blob. I don't, but we'll talk about that later. It's okay. Well, Isaiah, after looking at all the pieces, yeah. do you have a favorite? I do actually have a favorite. I think it's between Michelle, personally, and McKinsey. Those are my two favorites. <laughs> I think I made my decision, though. It's McKinsey. Dang it! <laughs> I really like the, the glowing eye and the smoke. It looks very nice. Would you like to take a sip? Yeah, I kind of need coffee? to try McKinsey's coffee. Let me know what So it tastes like water. This is not good coffee. Good art, bad coffee. <laughs> kind of balances each other out, right? Okay, awesome. On to round three. Exactly. Uh, no, yeah. not even. I'm not complaining about because I probably would have had to eat one. I'm not gonna remind him. Zach never forgets punishment. Now I have one point and Jake has one point, so we're tied. If one of us wins the next one, we are done and we'll have the winner. Michelle, would you like to spin the wheel? Okay, something easy. Plushy. Plushies. All right, if you look up above on the screen, there's a ton of art plushies right here. You can make art of one of them. Your time has already started, though. I am confident with this one. I love drawing that plushies. Do you guys see how cute Bun Bun is? I'm not doing Bun Bun. I'm doing its evolution, Bun Bun Bun, which isn't so cute, but it's a little bit more ferocious looking. Jake made another mess. Look at this man over here. He's destroying my tables. Michelle, are you utilizing your cool whip? It's cool whip. No, your cool whip. <laughs> the latte art is a lot harder than I thought. If the table shakes just a little bit, it messes up the art a lot. I want either Michelle or I to win, and I think Michelle and I have the best pieces. Oh, yes! We look really good. It'll be us. It'll be one of us, I'm sure. Three, two, one. All right, for round number three, we have another guest judge. Benjamin! And if you guys don't know, Ben and I work on a lot of these characters together, so Ben knows these characters pretty well. May I just start by saying your hair looks very nice today, Bean? What, what about your art? Ben does not care. It's a little boxish. I do like the colors, I like the lines. Oh, I think it looks cute. There's something off with the eyes, it kind of looks scary. Okay, they bled a little bit. Okay. I did Giga Shoe. I like it, Michelle definitely went big on this one. The black dots on his face. It's supposed to be like the moles on his face, and then uh. this is his nostril, but it all just blended. I did Bun Bun Bun, and I added shadowing on his feet and around the side of his back. Jake, I don't have a lot to say right now because it's a little muddy. Bun Bun got into a real fight here. Now, before Ben reveals who won this round, you can buy these cute plushies at zhcstore.com. Follow my finger. You want to go to zhcstore.com right now and buy a plushie. The winner of this round is David. <gasps> David what? got the shape of Bun Bun the best, Ooh. and it was the most clean. Jake is not happy right now. Look how mad he is. And with that being said, we're on to round four. My roommate clearly made the wrong decision. I really just don't know what was going through his head the entire time. Mackenzie, David, and Jake, you guys just need one more point to win. And Michelle, if you want to win, you need to win two in a row. You got it. You guys are probably looking at the bottom, seeing how much time is left. So if there's only time for one more round, you know Michelle didn't win. Oh. And now that I just ruined it for all of you guys, I'm going to spin to see what we get. Come on. Flower, blob, absolutely. What is it? What is it? We have robot. Robot. Oh. You guys have 20 minutes to do robot latte art. Go. These topics are horrible, and I'm the one that came up with them. I haven't won. Oh, one no, yet. Michelle. Get 
better <laughs> guest judges. Ben, you know what I just realized? So every topic they had today is stuff that you do specifically. They started out with building, then it was dragon. You're pretty good at dragons. And then it was plushies and you literally draw that for a living. And now they got robot and you love drawing robots. Wait, they, got, they got robots? Yeah. Ben, everything they're doing in this competition is stuff you would be really good at. Jake, for some reason, yours always melts faster than anybody's. It better not this round, I need the dub. What robot are you trying to do? I'm gonna do really like good. Uh, I'm gonna do turkey yeah. robot. Oh my goodness, and Jake is going full like AI mode. I don't think I've ever drawn a robot before in my life. So like Kenzie, I've never drawn a robot before. So I'm just making a robot unicorn. I'm pretty happy with my robot. It's going okay. I'm just a little bit annoyed because my colors keep bleeding for some reason. I'm hoping that it doesn't just get completely destroyed by the end. Wait, Mackenzie, are you sure Michelle's not gonna beat you guys? I'm pretty happy with my robot. I just want to win so we can get this over with because I do not like this challenge at all. Everything's hard about this video. Three, two, one. All right, Jake. What did you make? I made an AI robot. It bled a lot up here. My piece was bleeding a lot in general. Wires coming down the back. We have this very like robotic neck with wires going through connecting to the shoulders mm. down here. Very cool, Jake. I like the shading. Technical parts of the robot look really cool and the face looks incredible. I made a robot turkey wearing a robot costume. Wait, you guys never ate the bean. Did nobody remind me? We well, didn't no, want to remind bean. you. I forgot to give you guys a coffee bean. Okay, I like that you gave it your best effort. Michelle usually has to copy some references, but she made her own original piece. And for that, I am extremely proud of you, Michelle. I made a robot unicorn because I've never done a robot before and I was trying to make it my own and I wanted to give them a really magical, like fiery rainbow mane. I really like this piece, David. Thank you. It's very pretty. I thought we were all kind of going to go with the cartoony vibe, so... That's why I did this little guy. Effort. This art is very, very hard. You could have added some more detail on this one. Not a bad piece. I thought it was cute. We don't have a guest judge for this one, so I will need to make a decision. Michelle, I am really sorry. It was a very cute original piece, Michelle, and I still love you very much. This piece was just not your piece. That's okay. And with that being said, Jake and David. Oh. Man, this is tough. So I'm looking at these pieces side by side to try to really see which one I like the best. Honestly, I would say this was the closest round. Jake and David, you guys both had amazing pieces. I would have to get the slight edge to... Jake! Yes! Oh. Yes! And now we're gonna start the apple art challenge. I just bought every single apple at the grocery store. Mm. We have five artists and a ton of apples. Whoever has the best art has a chance to win up to $5,000 per subscriber. And I'll buy you a ton of apple pie. <gasps> artists, each one of you can start out by choosing 30 apples. Go! Also, the four hours just started. I think I'm just gonna grab a bunch of apples, all different shapes and sizes. There are a lot of apples to choose from. And whoever loses has to stare at this apple for one hour. It's not gonna be too fun. I don't know why people like green apples. This is sour. Jake, did you just bruise one of the apples? What if I did? Then I'm calling the cops. Viv, choose someone. Michelle. Jake, choose someone. Dizzy. Jake. Uh, Michelle. Ken. Viv, who did you choose? Michelle. Michelle, give Viv a topic. Piano. All right, Viv, you have to make a piano. Izzy, give Jake a topic. Dog. All right, Jake, you're making a dog themed apple sculpture. Jake, give Michelle a topic. Uh, squirrel in a cowboy hat. <laughs> Michelle, give Mackenzie a topic. Piano! Again? Yeah, I'm gonna see the See skin. who has a better piano? Yeah, see who has the piano. All right, Mackenzie. What? All right, Izzy, who did you pick? <laughs> oh, all right. Farts. Okay, that's cool. All right. So, Izzy, your sculpture needs to have something to do with farts. So obviously we're gonna have a lot of apples left over, so we're either gonna give it to a food bank or just give it to whoever wants more apples. Here you go, Jake. Thanks. All right, everyone know the topic? I better see some amazing farts, pianos, squirrels and cowboy hats, and dogs. And you may be thinking, Mackenzie, Izzy, Viv, they're all threatening competitors this round, but in case you guys forgot, last time we did the watermelon challenge, Michelle actually won. Michelle, you're the fruit champion. Why did you not list me as a threatening no. opponent? All right, Viv, so I heard you're struggling a bit. What is the plan? I wanted to make a big piano using all the apples, mm -hmm. but I just don't know how I'm gonna put them together. I think I'm going to do a dog holding a pencil. 
The plan right now is to make the squirrel in the with the cowboy hat first. My car little apples oh, yeah. and little booties. <laughs> and I'll make little clouds. Guys, I see everyone going pretty small right now. Keep in mind, you have 30 apples and you could win more. So for this challenge, might be good to go big. Kids, this challenge is a friendly reminder to eat your fruits. Viv, take an apple. Jake, take an apple. Michelle, take an apple. Mackenzie, take an apple. There you go, Mackenzie. Uh. First person who finishes the apple wins something. Last person also wins something. Go! Oh, Mackenzie and Viv are chopping them up. Jake, you even eat slow. I eat so slow, okay? All my friends know. All right, that's good enough, Izzy. Izzy's first. All right, that's good enough, Jake. Good job, Michelle. Good job, Mackenzie. Viv, it looks like you came in last. All right, good job, Izzy. This box is yours. You get more apples. Izzy, this is like 50 to 60 apples right here. Viv, since you came in last, you get applesauce. Three, two, one. Oh my God. I'm scared. <laughs> Jake is savoring every drop. <laughs> Jake, she got you good. She did it on purpose. Oh! oh. <laughs> Jake, you squirted your sauce all over the wall. Tell me how your piece is going so far. It's going okay. I'm just carving a bunch of little apple bottoms. Well, so far I've built the piano and the bench. I have a cowboy hat and then I have the squirrel tail and that's about it. I'm doing a demon dog. Oh. Like he's got some gnarly. Hey, that actually looks pretty good so far. Teeth. Probably gonna put a tennis ball in his mouth or something else because he's a demon dog. So we'll see. I finished my piano. I think I'm gonna do multiple instruments to make an orchestra. So we're about to do a challenge and one person will decide the fate of everyone here. Here's what's gonna happen. You will all have three minutes to go bobbing for apples. Whoever gets the most will decide everyone's fates. It's outside, go. Three minutes started already. Yeah, three minutes already started. Oh, they've already got one. What? All right, so apparently you either got to press it on the side to get the stem or you got to suck it. All right, come on. Jake, you didn't get any yet. Oh my goodness, Izzy already has three. How do you do this? Yeah. All right, two what? minutes left. No, you only have one. I can't do it! Michelle, you're very good at sucking. You do it every ah! last video. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Jake has seven. Three, two, one, stop. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 12, 13. Jake got 15. Did anyone beat 15? Mackenzie had five. Michelle, you had one. Yes. Viv, you how much is yours? Four. Viv, you have four. Izzy, how many do you have? Ten. Jake, you got you got fifteen. Jake, follow me. Jake, you're about to get a huge advantage. Here's your list of advantages. There are five of you. You get it. Apply this to each person. Okay, one artist will get to do any topic they want, and that's me. Okay, Mackenzie, you have to do 10 minutes of wall sits. Viv, you will have 50 burpees. Michelle, you will be tossing 100 apples into a bucket. And Izzy, you will be helping me for 30 minutes. Aww, okay. Everyone, get to whatever you're supposed to be doing. Izzy had a valiant effort in the uh, apple bobbing competition, yeah. so I decided to go easy on her. 100 yeah. apple throws. This is gonna take forever. On earth. It's a fart fruit ninja. You gave him nipples. Yeah. It's a Farouk look, look, Ninja. Look, look, yeah, a Farouk Ninja. Mackenzie, your, your pianist is jacked. He got some work done. Oh, you also gave him nipples. All right, Michelle. Huh, all right. Whoa, Jake, that's actually sick. Oh, whoa, that's cool. Boys and girls, come with me. <laughs> you will all take turns trying to toss that apple in the bucket. Let's just say you're gonna wanna get it in. All right, Izzy, okay. go for it. Oh, not quite, Izzy. Oh, he almost hit the camera, man. Ooh. Mackenzie's got one. 
Oh! That wasn't even close, Michelle. All right, everyone get back to work, except for Mackenzie. You see this knife? You're gonna be able to go up to one person's art and go one swift chop. Okay. There you Jake. go. What? Jake? No, Mackenzie. Jake, any last words before Mackenzie chops really your good. art? Just get it over with, Mackenzie. Jake, I'm so sorry. Jake, if you work fast, you might be able to still pull this off. Come on, Jake, get back to work. I believe in you. Jake, vlog about um, how you're gonna salvage it. I don't think I'm gonna salvage it. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. All right, Viv, so who gave you the topic of a piano? I didn't do it. <laughs> Tell me what you did with it. I decided to make an orchestra show, and then I made three instruments, and then Dax is conducting the show, the big show of the orchestra. Viv, I really, really liked the instruments you made, especially the top of this piano. Which you dropped. Oh. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Viv. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you this, Viv, it looks absolutely incredible, this top part. Very nice details on there. I did a kind of slug monster type creature. It has a shell on the back. It has a tongue and there's a little person, I guess, prey in there. Tongue is like textured, it has little claws. Mackenzie sliced through its face and it exploded. So I had to piece it back together, lost some teeth in the process. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised you recovered from that. Looking at it from over here, I can't tell that someone chopped through the head. And not gonna lie, the, the eyes really bring it to life. So this is probably one of your stronger pieces. So Jake gave me the topic of squirrel with a cowboy hat. So that's what I did. And the squirrel was really lonely, so I made him some swan and a butterfly and a couple of flowers. <laughs> it's not bad. I actually like your swans quite a lot. I think the swans came out nice. I feel like you could have polished up the squirrel a little bit more. <laughs> well, I was expecting to do a squirrel with a cowboy hat. Michelle gave me the topic of doing a piano. I built a piano, and then this is Pierre, the bodybuilder. Yes. Why do I look so mad? Because he's like playing a very emotional song. Very creative. I, I like the, the piano. One of the keys looks kind of off. Yeah, it's because he's playing so aggressively because he doesn't know his own strength. Mackenzie, not gonna lie, the, the proportions look a little bit off. Very creative, Mackenzie. All right, so Mackenzie gave me the topic of farts. Well, I wanted to create an explosion of farts, which was my initial idea, but I was like, okay, where'd farts come from? Butts. So I, I carved a bunch of butts, and I also carved this cute little character head, so I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make a ninja, obviously. Is it your story's kind of falling apart? No, no, no. It's an interesting design. I like the creativity. Thank you. But is he having nothing but butts as body parts makes it look a little <laughs> peculiar. Now it's time for eliminations. First person that's getting eliminated today, my friend Isabella. I'm sorry, Izzy, you're eliminated. Next person that's getting eliminated. All right, Mackenzie, I'm eliminating you. All right, Michelle, I'm gonna have to eliminate you. I'm sorry. Viv and Jake, and the winner of our annual apple carving competition is... Jake! Yeah! Let's go to the next challenge. Whatever these contestants make out of watermelon, I'll pay for. Woo! You have five hours, go. Okay. And what my friends don't know is that if they lose, there's actually a punishment that goes along with it. I bought the most sour watermelon candies I could find on the entire internet. If they lose, they're gonna have to eat this. Really the last time I won the watermelon challenge, I really want to do even better and win this one too. So I see you're choosing out your watermelon and your tools. If you can do this entire challenge with one tool, I'll give you an extra thousand if you win. That's just not possible. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. You're not gonna to take it. I'm gonna decline. If you don't want to take my deal, I'll go up to Michelle. So if you can win this entire challenge using only two tools, I'll give you an extra thousand dollars. You know what? I'll take it. Deal. Deal. Zach took me to an exotic zoo. I saw a couple of turtles doing the nasty. 
And now I really want one. Last time we did watermelon art, it was super, super hard. I'm hoping I can pull through with a win this time. I have no clue what I'm gonna make, so I'm gonna let the creative juices flow. This video is a little bit different from usual. They have to make what they want me to pay for. So if they make a watch, I'll get them a watch. If they make an animal, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna buy a tiger. Let's walk around and see what they're doing. Do you have an idea of what you're doing yet, Mackenzie? I'm going to do a tiki man. And you want me to buy no, you no, no. a tiki no. man? It's to represent a trip to Hawaii. Jack, let me try to guess what you're making. Is it gonna be a car? Yeah! Oh! Uh, Maybe when you actually want a turtle and yes. you take care of it? Yeah, we'll both take care of it. Both? Yes. Uh, actually, come to the side. I need to give you a little inspirational okay. speech. I feel like in this video, you're the underdog artist here. Just don't worry about what people are doing around you. Theirs is gonna be good, but you gotta believe in yourself. I think one of your biggest weaknesses is just giving up too early. You're at the point where you can really compete with them. Give them a run for their money. Okay, I feel so inspired. All right, Jake, so I see that you're making a house and I'm assuming you need a bit of help with your rent. So our rent is getting raised a little bit. In the rent's getting apartment. raised? Yeah. Ben, and if you're watching this, I'm paying for Jake's part of the rent, not yours. Ryan, I see you're already doing a scenery. Honestly, I think it looks pretty cool so far. Here, I just need a vacation. If you win, I'm gonna hook you up with the best vacation yes. of your life. Let's go, I'm winning this. I hope you fail. Now that everyone got their topics, the artists got straight to work. But little do they know, I have another plan in store for them. We have three mini challenges for the artists to do. And it's gonna give them an advantage or a disadvantage. And it might affect their overall performance. Oh man, Bruh. I'm gonna use one of two tools. They're the same thing. Bruh. I'm sorry. I officially give up on using two tools. Everyone stop what you're doing. We're gonna do mini challenges. For the first one, we have a watermelon eating competition. So <laughs> Wait, no, this is so much thicker. Michelle, you like them thicker. He's the one that cut it, so yell at him later. You can't just shove it all in your mouth. You have to swallow. Whoever swallows first wins. My goodness, Ryan has a giant one. Go. That's got a juicy one. <laughs> Looks like Michelle's almost done. <laughs> you gotta raise your hand and show me your mouth. Jake, do you like watermelons? Oh my goodness, Ryan's not even close. This is ridiculous. This is gonna be close. Go, 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 go. All right, Jake's our winner. Michelle's second. Oh, Jake's third. I'll we'll take the loss on that one. <laughs> When I was little, my parents had a first come first serve for dinner. So if I don't eat fast, I don't get to eat anything. And I'm a huge fan of Matt Stoney. Brian, I'm sorry you lost, so here's what's gonna happen. You have to help first place for 15 minutes, second place for 10 minutes, third place oh, for five minutes. Oh my God, awesome. Dude, I don't think I need your help. Oh, I'm gonna help you. I think for five minutes, I'm just gonna have you stare at the wall. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey is gonna be in the rest of the video with me. So hey Jake. Yeah, what? Look at your competitor. <laughs> no, <I'm> ah! <laughs> so I started cutting into my watermelon. I have the nostrils and the eyes and the mouth. I probably thought about giving up about twice now. I feel very confident. No, I'm not very confident. I should sound more confident. He's doing such a great job. Boop. Well, my five minutes of staring at this wall are up now, thanks to Jake. So Hi, Ryan, it's my turn. I'm not what do you need me to do? Sure. I'm having Ryan clean my station because it's like the messiest like one here. Good. Mackenzie, if you're going to want something more than a souvenir from Hawaii, you're going to have to do something related with traveling. So I saw this hack on TikTok. I'm not sure if they're messing with me or not, but we're going to try it. Let's see if it works. If you plug this into the watermelon, it'll charge your phone. I don't know if that's how electricity works. The cord's completely broke it. Now it doesn't do anything. Uh, Some things you see on the internet are dumb. Unless you subscribe, then you're pretty smart. Ryan, so I see you are currently helping Shaq out. Well, I was trying to decide if I was gonna do a really bad job because Mackenzie told me I was too nice. Well, on the Crafts Channel in the past, we have had people try to game the system and do a bad job. For those people, we double their work time. Whoa, that actually looks pretty good, Michelle. Honestly, I am quite proud of Michelle right now. Usually she goes through different phases where she gives up and then she keeps going, gives up, keeps going, and she usually ends up giving up. But I think today's gonna be different for her. Excuse me, sir. In my seat. Time-wise, not doing so great, but I just made these stairs. It's real estate. I got the turtle. I think now it's time to move on to the shell. They've been working for a while now, and I think they're getting comfortable, so we're gonna switch things up a little bit. Everyone, look up at the clock real quick. You have less than two hours. We do have our second mini challenge, so come with me outside. I'm telling myself not to give up, but I really felt like I should have. For this next challenge, we'll be doing watermelon bowling. So each of you guys have one watermelon, you have a lane, and you have 10 pins. So whoever knocks down the most pins gets to scoop a piece out of another person's watermelon art. Oh, oh my god! Oh, what? All right, Mackenzie, you're gonna be first. Do you have a strategy here? I'm gonna granny roll it. Oh, 
Good job. I think everyone's gonna be able to get a strike. It wasn't that hard. No scoop for you. Go, Michelle. Whoa! You hit Vince in the nuts. Hey, I didn't mean to. Nice. Ryan, you're the last hope. Nice, spare. You had one left. Mackenzie, you're gonna be able to scoop someone's art. Inside we go. I'm kind of nervous that she's gonna scoop my art. Wouldn't be surprised, but I really hope she doesn't. Jax is cute and cartoonish right now. Jake's is looking pretty sweet. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I would say Shax looks Bruh. the best. You don't need to listen to me. I'm not telling you to scoop him. I just host the videos. I'm so Zach. sorry, Shax. Okay. I really, okay. I don't Five. want to. Okay. 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 Four. Just do it on the side or something. I can't. Oh. 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Shax. She put her own fist up. But it's okay, I'm still one person here. <laughs> Stuff that no, no, no. With more melody. Okay, I feel really, really bad about what I did to Shaq's piece, but at the end of the day, I'm a terrible person. Is she making a helmet kiss? <laughs> no. I need to give up now. Don't give up. Michelle, don't give up. Oh, the helmet too small. I want to cry. Actually, no, I am crying. How's everyone feeling? Sweaty. I will give you guys the next minute to pick out whatever watermelon you want. Melon on melon action. At this point in the competition, I feel like everyone's doing pretty well, but I kind of want to give them some advice and mentorship. I think the main goal in all these challenges that we do is to bring out the full potential in each one of these talented artists. Let's go talk to each of them. I want to give each one of you guys the best chance of winning, and I can spend a little bit of time talking to each one of you guys about strategies. You guys each can get like two minutes with me. You may stand behind there. Welcome to my office. I feel like if you want to win it, you should incorporate like little details on it. Okay. A couple planes, helicopters, stuff mm -hmm. like that. You're going to need a couple more impressive elements. I'm trying to work a little bit faster, but honestly, I don't know if I'm going to finish, so we'll see. All right, Michelle, how are you feeling right now? I feel terrible. Terrible? How come? I gave up. Michelle, the one piece of advice I had for you the whole challenge is to not give up. I know, but everyone kept saying my piece looks so bad. Maybe they think it looks bad and then it blossoms into something that's really good. Do you really think it was good? <laughs> Ryan and Mackenzie's are looking pretty good. Yes, they are. So you're gonna have to watch out for them. Yes, yes, yes. One of the things I like the most is detail. So if you can get a lot bad. of detail, okay, it'll cool, look nice. Cool, 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 wonderful. But one, what, what I would do if I were you is I, would, I think I would add some more texture and I think that's one thing that might be missing from your piece. But I'm having fun listening to Jake. It's been about 20 minutes straight whining so far. <laughs> Say hi to Petunia part two. Zach may not like it, but I like it. You have around 26 minutes and 30 seconds left. So. I have one final mini challenge for you guys. For this final mini challenge, you each have half a watermelon. Whoever cleans their watermelon first gets an advantage. Go! Go! No. Sure. Raise your hand when you're done. I think I'm done. Ryan, I think you got it. So here's your advantage. You see how there's 23 minutes left on the clock? For the rest of them, they only have 18 minutes left. Oh. Oh. I need all the time I can get, so this is definitely annoying. So I'm watching everyone struggle right now. They have about a minute left. Well, I did exactly what Zach told me, and I put Hawaii on the back side of the team with a blame. Therefore, it should win. Jake is literally <laughs> rushing. I know I'm going to lose. I'm just going to prepare for the side candy now. Three, two, one. Everyone stop what you're doing. Ryan, you have five minutes left. Ryan, why don't you tell me a little bit about your piece? I did a tropical beach, some palm trees, clouds, some trees, I'm ready to go on a vacation. So I put in a little safari jeep in there. Very impressed with this. I, I think you did a pretty good job. I love how you have like this as your main display piece and then you have like a little like cute something on the side too. Very nice, Ryan, everyone. All right, Jake, tell me about your piece. This is a house. I really tried to get the depth of the pieces of the house uh, in the front and on the sides. The staircase is a very cool touch. I think the door is very nice. For five hours, I, I, I really wish you had some more detail on there. I wish there were some more like textures. It wasn't turning out so good. By the way, Jake, I think you did a good job. Hi, right, Michelle. So this is Fatini the second. It's another turtle. I made her in an hour. There's little turtle babies. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think you have a very cute functional piece. Perfect for parties with friends and family. However, I can tell it was made during your final hour. All right, Shaq, tell me about your piece. Now we got a convertible. I also have a bunch of different features on here. Working windshield to the window, antenna, and also if you come in a little bit closer, watermelon Whoa. engine that's up in there, you feel me? I, I do really like all the details. So many cool things on here. Good job. 
Mackenzie, talk to me about your tiki torch. I just want to say at first. Are these excuses? No. I had made a little lay. I gave him a tongue. I tried to add some details like you asked for. And I think it turned out pretty good. I think it's pretty cool. I, I think it was a good choice making these extra textures. Okay. Very nice, Mackenzie. I'm very proud of all of you guys, but at the end of the day, only one of you guys can win. I'm gonna try my best to be unbiased and choose my favorite ones. And unfortunately, if you lose, you have to eat the most sour watermelon candy I could find on the internet. The person coming in fifth. I'm sorry, Michelle. Ah! All right, Michelle. Ah. All right. In fourth place, we have Jake. Ah. Put it in, Jake. Ooh. Now it's down to Ryan, Shaq, and Mackenzie. This is tough to do, but Shaq, please give this to Mackenzie. Yeah! <laughs> Your piece was very impressive, but I thought there were two better ones. <laughs> Finally, we have Ryan and Shaq. This is a very tough decision. I, I wish I could give you guys a tie, but unfortunately, there can only be one winner. The winner of this challenge, drum roll. Please, the sweet part. I think I'm gonna have to go with Shaq. Oh, hey! I give him a give him a right. candy. Let's move on to our next competition. In this video, we will be making art out of pasta. Ah, I hate pasta. Alert. Ooh, pasta. These four artists will have two hours to create art out of pasta. Best one gets to split up to five grand with a subscriber. Let the pasta challenge begin. I gotta get some pasta. Michelle, what the hell? These look fancy as heck. Going into this challenge, I'm not very confident at all because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm already over it because the colors are ugly. Jake and Mackenzie aren't here today, so I might have a chance to win. So are you giving me a topic or no? You ready? Three, two, one, one. zombie. <laughs> I'm not doing a zombie. This is all you need to draw, straight lines. I saw some of the pasta pieces, and honestly, they resemble bones, so I think I'm gonna make a dinosaur fossil. Okay, I'm gonna try to draw out what I wanna make, and I'm gonna try to actually plan for one. So I'm gonna do a unicorn, because it's easy, and I do them all the time. So. <laughs> Maybe I might try cooking the pasta. <laughs> Michelle's ripped, girl. Well, let's just soak it and see if it like becomes squishy. If it doesn't work, I will try something else. Ew, Michelle, what are you doing? I'm soaking it. Michelle's always doing nasty stuff every <laughs> challenge. <laughs> We're gonna draw this cool geometric frog as a mosaic. I just love doing my own stuff. So Michelle, what's your plan with that over there? I don't know, Ben. Like, I why'd you just put know. it in I water? Just, I just wanted to try it out. Uh, I have my sketch down. This is what it looks like so far. Before I put the hot glue gun on, I am gonna just map out where I want my pasta art to go. Ew, my glue is like thick and gross. It's gonna be a musty unicorn. It's been 20 minutes and I finally decided what I'm gonna do. I want to do a cute little frog. So what's your plan? How are you gonna use these like little pieces of pasta to make it? I'm gonna try to break up the spaghetti to make it into like fur texture and then hopefully oh, cool. different textures of pasta to like make the mane look different and the eyes look different. Oh, you have a little frog. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little frog. Michelle's doing a frog too? No. Oh wait, you're doing a frog? Wait. Changing my idea again. <laughs> you're changing your idea, Michelle? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Ben. If I was competing right now, I'd you be, would lose. I'd be you super would lose. scared. We're around 25 minutes in, and we have our first mini challenge where you could win an advantage. Ooh. Okay, I want that. Gather in the middle. We're gonna play a little game. This is called pasta trivia. So I'm gonna show you guys an assortment of different pastas. First person to answer the name of the pasta wins a point. You need three points to win. First one, spaghetti. Cannoli. Yes. I don't know how you got that. I don't even know what that is. Second one, spaghetti. Follow. Bar follow. Follow. Technically, David said it first. No! Next one, spaghetti. Tricolor fusilli. You got it, fusilli. Next one, okay. Spaghetti. Rigatoni. David, you have three points. How was none of those spaghetti? Choose. Everyone, you can get back to work. David, here's your advantage. You get to choose two people and have them make you a pasta. Like food? They need to cook it and bring it to you. Oh, dude, let me do this one. Ben, you're gonna make me pasta. And Savannah, you're gonna make me pasta. <gasps> All right, Ben, Savannah, get to work. You guys have a pasta Wait, to does make he have David. to eat it? Like, it just needs to be edible. No, I want it like five star Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> and you picked me? My glue exploded and melted everything. And it's all over my shoe, but it's okay. My unicorn will look great in two hours from now, I'm sure. We should just give him one of every noodle. Savannah, what are you doing? This is how you make pasta. Grab a little bit of this. You grab some of these. Yummy. I decided that I'm gonna do a mushroom, but I'm doing a cute mushroom. Oh. Savannah and I are in the kitchen right now. We are about to make the best pasta in the world. Oh, wait, I wanna go look at everyone's stuff while they're gone. Hey, Michelle, yours is gonna be really cute. I'm working on it. Ben's is looking a little rough, sure. but I'm sure knowing him, it'll 
come out really good. Oh, I feel bad. She hasn't started at all yet. I made her go cook pasta. Look at that. That is a whole fire. Oh, you just throw it in there? It's, <laughs> oh! it's gonna be salty. This is why we're an art channel and not a cooking channel. Okay, how long does it really take to make pasta? You better be salting their pasta water. Get in there. I don't know if we added enough salt. Oh, I think you added more than enough salt. Are you worried at all that the glue's not clear? Uh, if you look at Ben's, the clear glue like kind of disappears. Whereas like, if you have white glue, then you're gonna be able to see all this at the end. Well, I'll do clear from now on once all the white's okay. used up. Okay, I gotta squirt it out. You want that milky color. Well, I think there. it's ready to serve, actually. I hope David likes it. This might be the last time we see David. <laughs> it looks like it's lunchtime. I'm starving. Oh my god, yum. Just try a little bite in case it's really bad. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> Why is it crunchy? Call me Chef Boyar Ben. Oh, everyone, I have a little plot twist. As a reminder, the winner gets to split up to five grand with a subscriber, and losers get tomato sauce. No oh way. Oh my god. Make sure you step it up. Good thing I switched to the clear glue. Wait, Zach, what happens if Michelle gets tomato sauce dumped on her and she has to come home with you? Am I allowed to be next to you? Sure. Are we allowed to cuddle? Sure, we can still cuddle. She's just gonna taste and smell like awesome. tomatoes. All right, everyone, we have our second mini challenge. <laughs> you will have an opportunity to win some more time. You guys will each toss 10 pieces of pasta, and each each one you get in this bowl is two minutes extra. You can get up to 20 extra minutes. Ooh. Oh no! I need like a heavy pasta. If you have one more try. So David, you have 12 extra minutes. All right, Michelle. One more. You get four extra minutes, Michelle. Okay, I'm gonna try a different strategy. <laughs> what does this count as? You're done, Ben. And you get eight extra minutes. Woo. Oh my god, I'm an athlete. Oh. Savannah, you get six extra minutes. Better than nothing. And I'm gonna use the extra time to really add lots of details to my unicorn and hopefully get it done. I only got four extra minutes. <sighs> That's not a lot of time. I'm using red pasta to make the outside of the mushroom. And hopefully by the end of it, it'll look really, really good. This challenge is so hard. Two hours is not enough time to do this. See the frog. There's only 49 minutes left, but I think my dinosaur skeleton is turning out. Pretty good. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the head. I'm like not even halfway done, so I have no idea if I'm gonna finish this unicorn. So I definitely need to add some color. I do not wanna get tomato sauce dumped all over me. That's disgusting. Very much almost done with my mushroom and I hate it. <laughs> my beautiful girlfriend is on the verge of giving up. Michelle, you got this. Oh, this is a munchie fan. What are you gonna give up? Okay, I won't give up now. Here's what we got. Not hating it, not loving it. Good place to be. All right, everyone, we have our third mini challenge and this one you will probably win your biggest advantage yet. God, oh God. We'll pause the time real quick, and I need you guys to come with me to the other set. For this mini challenge, you guys are gonna build a pasta bridge across these two buckets. The winner of this challenge will go straight to the finals during judging. I wanna win, I wanna win! If there's any challenge I wanna win, it's this one. I will give you guys three minutes to build your pasta bridge. Three minutes? Here you go. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do either. Just build a bridge. Stay, please. I might have made my bridge too heavy. Mine's not gonna even be able to stand up. This is the worst. Like, I need more time. Oh no. <laughs> Tell you're taping like a fiend. I have tape all over my legs. You guys have 30 seconds. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. All right, everyone, hands up. Hands up. Oh god. Let's see whose bridge holds up the best. Oh, why'd you start with mine? He's using one finger. I, I did not need to use a lot of strength for that. Savannah's is definitely stronger. It is stronger than yours, Ben. Whoa! Whoa. Wait, this one's, this one's really sturdy. Whoa. Oh my god! Whoa. Yes. My finger hurts from this. I'd have put a decent amount of force into that. All right, David, you win! Woo. That means you automatically advance to the finals when it comes to judging. Every time someone goes straight to the finals, they always lose, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Oh my god, I won all three mini challenges. So I'm an athlete and a construction worker and an architect. We have 10 minutes left and I feel pretty behind. 10 seconds left and I have another four minutes. You sound so stressed. I don't think I'm gonna use that extra time. Michelle, you can't give up. Michelle, I love your mushroom. I have eight minutes extra time. So I should be able to finish. Yes. Pressure is on. How do I clean that? What would you do? Yeah, you should cut it out. Oh my God, that's so smart. 
Every time I say I'm confident in a challenge, I always lose, but I'm really confident right now. Yeah? You're done. Yeah? You're done, David. David, let's take a look over here. What do you have? Okay, so this is Bill the Unicorn. I wanted to use all the different colors of pasta, and I tried to use every single type of pasta except for one, I think. Why'd you decide to cut the side of the cardboard out? I thought it'd be a cool composition for the unicorn head, and also I couldn't get the hot glue off the paper. Uh, I like your use of colors. I think it's very fun. I actually think this, this worked for cleaning up the piece. Yay. Nice job. Awesome. Thank you. Michelle. <coughs> I made Martin the Mean Mushroom. Cute. Um, what was the hardest part about this challenge? Uh, I started off really liking it, and then as I got to the body, I just didn't know what pastas to use. Everything was bad. I'm glad you at least completed it. I feel like you could have put a little bit more thought into like what to use for like the eyes and the eyebrows. Yeah, so I was having trouble with the eyes because there was nothing like round and flat, so I just <clears> made it mean. I'm still glad you finished it, Michelle. Yeah. This is Roderick the Dinosaur. I think this piece looks really cool. I like what you did with the ribs. You made a very smart decision because I feel like a lot of the pasta does look like bones. Especially like the arms and stuff look like femur yeah. bones. My one thing, I wish the bottom of the jaw was a little bit longer, and I wish the tail was a little bit longer. I ran out of room. So, excellent piece, Ben. Very Thank impressed. You. Savannah, let's see it. I made a frog. <laughs> it was easier, I think. I like the nice graphic look. I think you utilized the colors very well. I almost wish the glue you used at the bottom was clear. The results are in. Our subscribers on YouTube have spoken. The winner with 84% of the votes, So far in this video, we've done food art like apples, cheese, coffee, pancake, bananas. And last but not least, we have our final competition. We have five artists and 30 gingerbread house kits. Whichever one of you builds the best gingerbread house gets a lifetime supply of hot chocolate. Obviously, you can't drink hot chocolate alone, so whoever wins will also choose a subscriber to share the prize with. You have up to six hours to build your gingerbread house. Ready, go! Yay! And in front of them, they have a lot of candies, frosting, and other stuff that they can put on the gingerbread house. So they have everything they need. Hi, ma'am. Can everyone take out one gingerbread man? First person to finish their gingerbread man gets another gingerbread house kit. Oh, heck oh. yeah! All right. Three, two, one, go! What? Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh my god! I mean, I'm gonna try it though. And I think Let I took the first Whoever moved by Michelle, Michelle is the only one going for water. Oh, oh my goodness, yeah. Michelle! Yeah. That was the fastest I've ever seen anyone eat a gingerbread man, so here you go, Michelle. Yeah! So, Viv, tell me about what you're working on. So, I'm working on a mansion. Izzy, what are you working on? Okay, so I'm building a castle. I'm just winging it at this point. I didn't really look at a reference or anything. Michelle, tell me about what you're working on. Wait, where's your gingerbread house? I'm, I've been... All right, Mackenzie, <laughs> tell me about what you're working on. Whoa, uh, yes. that's a cool reference. Yeah. Are you trying to build that? Yes, I don't have a lot happening right now because I've been cutting all my pieces. So yours is gonna be very tall at the end. So I got my first layer down, and I think I'm doing pretty well. Now I gotta put a second layer, and time to decorate. So we got a very strong base for our castle. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, fine, <laughs> fine. Oh, um, are you using those? One of those. <gasps> oh, Jay, um. Is there Look at me. Better? <laughs> Wow, what just happened? <laughs> oh my gosh, don't care on your boots. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, what is that? I, I, don't, I don't even want to talk about it right now. <laughs> All right. Oh, I like you. Try uh -huh. This is kind of cool. Mm, is he? it? It was different last time I checked. We're working on it, we're changing the design. <laughs> nice, so far I, I like the gumdrops, I'll probably eat this one. Michelle. Hello. Ooh, what's in there? It's a little garden. Does this door work? Um, it will not. Ooh, Mackenzie, this is looking pretty good. Thank you. There's not a lot of detail on there so far, but not the yet. structure looks really good. All right, everyone, keep building. There is a challenge coming up, so brace for impact.
You are all almost done with your gingerbread houses. But before we can move on, we have to do a Nerf test. No! So, so I'm gonna go from back here. Which one are you starting with, Zach? Starting with yours, Viv. No! Three, two, one. Ah! Oh! Wow! Oh! Wow! All right, Viv. That held up very well. Time for Izzy's. Oh! Not bad. These are strong. It's your eye. Oh. All right, Jake. What's happening? Wow. Okay, these gingerbread houses are stronger than I thought. Alright. Last one. Artists, time is almost up, but I'm gonna give each of you guys a chance to get a bit of a head start. Each one of you will have one opportunity to throw a Christmas ornament as hard as you can at any of the gingerbread houses. Oh, no. All right, so, Viv, which one are you gonna try to throw it at? Michelle. What? <laughs> So I'm gonna have to go with McKenzie. <laughs> oh, all right, Michelle. Two, one, go. <laughs> and there's one more. I'm going to throw one, but while I go find the ball, you all decide as a team who I should throw it at. Wait. Go. Who did we decide on? Michelle. Um, okay. Oh, Since you guys chose Michelle, Michelle is actually safe. What? <laughs> I am thinking of either number one or number two. One. Two. One. So I chose two, which means two, you're safe. Mm. Everyone, <laughs> count down. Two, one. Oh! 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 What are these made of? Three, two, one. Kenzie, if you let me throw a dodgeball at this, I'll give you a hundred dollars if it doesn't break. Okay, go ahead. Really? Yeah. You may win a hundred dollars, or you may have just lost the entire competition. Three, two, one! Oh! 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 Wait a second, wait a second though. It still looks pretty good. But you didn't win the hundred dollars. No, hey, Michelle. Yes? If you let me... Throw the dodgeball at this and it doesn't break, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Okay, you, yeah, surely, yeah. Really? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> but you should hit like right here. Three, two, one! Ah! Ah! Yeah! Jake, don't even bother. So everyone, time is up. Viv, why don't you tell me about your gingerbread house? I made a gingerbread mansion. Very nicely decorated. So, what happened, Izzy? Yeah, obviously, it didn't hold up, and it was really nice. It did have some really nice decorations. Mm. Obviously, a lot of that's gone now. <laughs> All right, Jake, <laughs> tell me about yours. I did some gumdrop pattering on the roof, and then I did some drippy white and blue icing along the side and front of the house, and candy canes at the front. Very creative. Just an extra touch. Whoa, you recovered fast. <laughs> So instead of having a backyard, I decided to make a hot tub. Yeah, honestly, it doesn't look half bad. Thank you. Mackenzie, I felt awful when the top <laughs> part came flying off, but... Wait, hold up, Michelle, are you eating your gingerbread house already? <laughs> uh, yummy. <laughs> All right, Mackenzie, carry on. It's styled after a San Francisco home, so it's very, like, tall and narrow. Intriguing architectural detail, which I don't see on anyone else's. This one is incredible. Only one person will win. When I eliminate you, you need to take a huge bite out of your gingerbread house. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> it looks like Izzy's already about to take it. 
take a bite. <laughs> I know it's gonna be me. Okay, yes. I think the next person is trying to hide. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really pretty. Uh, it's pink. Uh -huh. It's gorgeous. Really? No. Ooh. <laughs> okay, the next person to get eliminated is Viv. Oh, I'm so sorry, Viv. Oh. Take a bite out of your gingerbread house. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, Jake and Mackenzie. Whenever I can't make a decision, oh my gosh. I put it up as a poll. Oh. So I'm not even gonna say, I'm just gonna destroy one and the one standing is gonna be the winner. <laughs> the winner won 64% to 36%. Oh my goodness. The winner. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, three, two, one. Oh so Mackenzie, God. that means you are the winner. Wait, what oh. are you doing? 